Good times day, all creatures of water change ratings, and welcome back to Kingdom of Adana. Previously on our session, the Heron Stallions have engaged in mortal combat with the elemental that seemed to control the very environment around it. They managed to wound it, and giving it enough to self-ignite, while also releasing the hold on the diamonds that were maintained within its armor. Dardus has sacrificed his hand to tear a few diamonds from the elemental, and Trigger has torn another body part from the poor unsuspecting elemental, <laughs> as you all escaped to the prime material plane. You initiated the resurrection ritual, whereupon it seems that the place of Raining Queen was taken by an acquaintance of yours, a man who owes a lot to you and built his career on killing you guys. Quite an upstart he is. But you did bring Aris back to life, brought him up to speed, showed him the ship. And I have written down that you obtained supplies. I'm gonna just cross this over, you have not obtained any supplies. But you have explored your uh, rebuild ship in preparation of your journey to where actually are you going? So yeah, the question, the big question is: um, Are you ordering the engineers to do something to the ship? Install the crystal? Do something else? And how quickly? All right. Uh, I would propose that we leave the ship here. That we increase the base speed, and that we get the heating in there. Because I honestly don't know if my tiny hut thing will work. And honestly, traveling in a proper ship where we can sleep and like uh, the. What? Banana? Uh, well, what are the, you... The the things that you sleep in that are hung to the Hammocks. walls. Hello. The hammocks. Hammock. Oh, yes. I forgot that word. Uh, I would prefer that than sleeping in a shitty tiny hut where I have to uh, stay in the entire fucking time. <laughs> what? You don't have the will to self-isolate? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I do. My character doesn't. <laughs> Sounds about right. And uh, for how long do you intend to leave the ship? Um, as long as quickly as, it... as they can make it. Huh? So you want them to uh, improve the base speed as much as they can, install the heating. And well, if you leave the ship with them, uh, what is your plan? Where are you guys going? Well, they said if we leave it there, we can. They can also hopefully get more performance out of the crystal. Yes. Yeah. So our plan would be to leave it here and then fly with a wind walk to the Skyreach Mountain. Is that the correct name? All right. Yes. Yep. Um, and yeah, hopefully get some Flying intel Damien. on the plane of. Damien air. is here already. We found him already. Did we? Yeah. Yep. Oh right, right. Okay. Also, can we Did do he? a quick? <laughs> Go over of potions because sure. um, the way I remember it, when Arl's not included, you fought um, Mr. Said Nevek. In the beforehand, we basically drank all our potions to substitute a short rest, most of them. So what I have written down is that we had barely any left: one potion of healing and one potion of greater healing before we. Um, well, are going to be shopping now again, basically, or replenishing the stock a little bit. Now, the question for me is: Does anyone else have potions written down in their inventory? I have, I have two on me. That is uh, what I have written down as well. Yes, that is the only thing I've written down. There. I have a potion of healing and potion of greater healing. I haven't used them. Mm -hmm. um, I also have the. Wait, the potion of fire resistance was consumed. Yes. Yes. So that is definitely gone. 
Um, I have uh, one potion of lightning resist on me that I'll yes. probably never use. <laughs> Wait. When did you buy potions of cold resistance? Because it I didn't. It might be something them. left over from Christian Girl. Oh, they are probably. In that case, we'll have three of them, which is nice. Also, I noticed that I didn't update it, but the spices are no longer in the in the bag okay, of holding. I'll delete we them. Sold them. You have only the drugs left. Yeah, only the coffee. Only the drugs. Coffee, okay. Uh, Trigger, you take minus one to all your stats for the session. Um, that's... I'm trying to see if we did... Okay. In that case, um, <coughs> I will cut the new potions we bought in now and subtract the gold and all of that. Yes. And then we can just decide who carries what, I guess. Mm-hmm. Before so. we go, can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. Yep. To the DM. Has Ralph noticed Arliss has come back? Well, I think this begets a question. What is Ralph? I hate you, I hate you Jesse. <laughs> I'm used to that. Everyone hates me. <laughs> no. Do you uh, mention that out loud? What? Um... Uh, yeah, honestly, Melora probably wouldn't. Well, as you look around, Ralph is nowhere to be seen. So, whether he noticed Alice or not is a big question. Ralph does seem to have a habit mm. of disappearing. But it's another question. Did he follow you to the fire plane? If he did, is the fire elemental still alive? Well, not the fire, a diamond elemental. And if oh, it God. isn't, what's gonna happen when Ralph comes back? You notice two diamond legs on his, uh, <laughs> on his bottom. I just came up with a new campaign idea. 100 years later, Ralph has consumed all elemental evil princess and became the <laughs> elemental king of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. He is immune to physical damage and to magic. Only a group of adventurers can stop him. Using By the power of him. friendship and pets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as well as an ancient artifact passed down as durations known as the hind leg of Arles. <laughs> what have you unleashed on the world? Fun. <laughs> Lot of fun, yes. And joy and terror. And but mostly fun. Uh, have you seen like those memes about like Garfield growing large and consuming everything? <laughs> no. Yeah. It's gonna be Ralph. I still say Ralph's gonna be the final boss of the campaign. <laughs> Alright. Uh he's gonna be secret level boss. Well, um, anything else? Any more bookkeeping you want to do while I just listen? <clears throat> Food bites were fine. Uh, you don't have any. F well, you have food. I refuse to call rations food. Rations are rations. Food is food. I think I have eight more rations left on me, and of course we always have the spells Goodberry and Create Food and Water. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to cook, so let's just take rations and be miserable. You don't have to be miserable, it's really easy. You know, you just use this, and everything tastes amazing. These are the rations. It's a weird, uh, weird co uh, consistency of the food, but you know, it's good. Still, it smells good. That's all that. And this. I mean, this... if we're gonna be trapped on the on the ship for a while, you can have cooking challenges. See who can muddle through the best. I mean, feel free to um, make a cooking challenge against yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, come on, Arliss, you're just back. Get it. Gonna try some. Give it a shot. So, after surviving for a week on bread sandwiches, the heroes Devons have died. <laughs> they died. Um. Uh. We have to worry about scurvy. I mean, if things get really bad, we can still eat come Arliss. back here and eat Arliss, yeah. Um. <laughs> or you uh, can use have for regeneration. You can have Melora gossip. Her conversations tend to be very juicy. <laughs> so are her berries. Uh, berry shakes. Good berry shakes, yes. Um, well, um, good news, and I'm gonna say it's been noon because you did the shopping and the ship exploration and so on. So you try to get your 7th, I believe, uh, prominence today. Uh, congratulations, that is fully recharged. Um, and... Uh, uh, yeah, wrong army, Tal. Wrong army. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, I mean, aside from that, uh, you're welcome to... Start your wind walk. You don't need to pick up uh, Epidric and Damien, um, as in you need to regroup, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. All right. Well, let's say you do that. I mean, go ahead. What's the spell? Spec your stuff. <coughs> I really don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, so I am, cur this day I am already in Kieran form. Oh, yes, because you did, you just resurrected Arvis, basically. In that case, I could just cast Windwalk on all of us and be done with it. You certainly could. We are ready to go, right? Yeah. How far can we get with Windwalk? 300 miles. 300 miles. We... okay. I mean, you could try and push, like, cast it in other time and push on. Hope that you don't get any exhaustion. Um, we could... It's, uh... it's not, not, not really 300 miles, is it? It's... Isn't it? It's, I think it's... 240 miles, because yeah. it only lasts 8 hours. All right, 30 miles. Yes, 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 you're correct. Yes, also, then it would be pretty hard to... Wouldn't it be a little better to just... Um, would, uh, teleport? Trees. Yeah. Yes, to just trees, uh, to walk through the trees to the forest, and then from there go to Sky Ridge Mountain. Probably yeah, a little faster, for well. sure. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, you gotta do it then, uh, Melora. I can teleport in this form. Oh, um... Oh, actually, we have a little bit of a problem. What's that? Oh, no. No, never mind. It should be fine. It should be fine. Okay. Good. Um... I will just update us with ra where like how many rations do we have by the way? Because I don't see this in because oh, we all one. put it on our own. Yeah, uh, I have eight. We all have eight. We were only two days, I think, in the So you yeah. have eight and I have none. Okay. Uh <laughs> I will uh purchase food for us. Food or rations? First, some How food. long does no, food no, last no. for? Again? How long does normal food last for? Uh, depends on food. Depends on where you store it. I mean, like salted meat will last up to a week easily and be relatively fresh. Uh, 
I mean, bread Definitely. can last a couple of weeks, depending on how much you mind it's becoming more and more wooden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then there's a good chance it's all going to be bad by the time we get the ship and start traveling. If we leave it on the ship or... Yeah, it's... By the way, are you, you guys, currently I'm carrying... Uh, Zardus, are you currently carrying the cow carcass with you that you wanted to take? Like, do you have it on your shoulders? I'm not bringing a cow carcass. Just toss it on the ship, it's fine. Mo? He says, holding a cow carcass that is dripping sure, blood sure all over the ship. Sure you guys want to bring this? I mean, plenty of meat for the ship. Yeah, I don't think that meat's gonna be any good by the time we get the ship. I mean, there's what, like a cooler box or something on there? I'll throw it in that. Yeah. Hard pass. That was hard pass. Fine. I'm sure someone in the neighborhood could use it. I'll lug it off somewhere else. I bought 10 rations. Okay, so let's teleport. Um. Hey. Uh. Where are you? Oh, 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 oh. oh, where specifically are you trying to go? <laughs> Which say, point on the map? Let's say either the borders of the you know, woodlands. Mm. Yeah. All right. You know, like just outside, so they don't get angry. That kind of shit. Mm -hmm. I guess you have been in that area when you were fighting against the gnolls. Because I wanted you to fight against the gnolls. Alright, so you um, pick up Pigeon, you pick up Damien, you go to uh, Lady Kazar's garden, where the only surviving trees still stand. The Lord splits one of them open. I'll walk in and walk out on the outskirts of the immense lunar woodlands. Roll initiative. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. Sure. Okay. Okay. What are you doing now? Uh, I cast immediately wind walk How long on does all it of take? us. A minute? Uh, a minute. I'm good. While that's happening, I'm gonna tell. Uh... Well, I'm gonna tell Damien, since Pitchbuck can't understand me, mm -hmm. that we are just gonna be turning into clouds. And to not get lost, it's just the best idea to um, follow the other clouds. We're gonna be flying up there in that direction. I assume Skyreach Mountain is somewhat visible from everywhere since it's so tall. Uh, some of it is. I mean, the part yes. that doesn't go through the clouds. Excellent, that part is what I'm pointing at. Yeah. Demon goes. Well, this is going to be exciting! I've been many things, but I've never been a cloud before. <sighs> it's going to right be group. a crazy day. I would like to use this minute to attune to the Staff of Frost. Sure. <sighs> The flex minute? your it doesn't. No, it's Wait, it's, a, it's a special one. It has to, it had a special description in dancing that it's. I don't know for what reason, but it only takes one minute to attune oh, to it. That's really cool. Because nobody could manage licking the stuff for longer than a minute in order to attune to it. <laughs> yes, you are absolutely required to lick it for the whole minute. <laughs> Tastes like a popsicle, it's okay. Yes! Damien kind of looks at you. Crazy day indeed! Crazy day! <laughs> You're strong. And as I, look, as I look over to the majestic unicorn thingy that is casting, I ask, um, so how do we tell Pichurek, uh what we are intending to do? Has he done this before? Yeah, he's uh, used to it. all languages, puny human. Okay, can you tell him? 
Yes, I will keep it. Uh, um, uh, once. It, I I I, th I think w it would be reasonable that I would actually tell Pidgeot what the plan of the day was beforehand. He speaks broken common, but he does speak common. He knows five words. <laughs> yes, so left right. <laughs> that, that's not speaking a language. I mean, Trigger, so he, Trigger heard one word and assumes that Pidgeot speaks common now. Um, Pidgeot responds to you. I have recognized your pensic. I have assumed you as much. My body is ready to be a cloud. His body is ready to be a cloud. Yes, all right, then I'll just wait until the casting is done and... Oh, by the way, Melora, you point the way you get lost, probably, if you don't. I mean, there's a huge <laughs> amount we have to fly to, but I will still trust you more than me. Oh, I hope I don't screw up, but all right. <laughs> I mean, if it makes you feel better, I can do it and just there real quick. <laughs> that does not make me feel better. Good, good joke, good joke, yes. Uh... I mean, I can help you. Um, I'm very wise as a Kieran. Uh, yeah. So, um, this taking off anytime soon? And what as you it? say that you all turn into clouds and can no longer speak to each other. Oh, so we're can, not doing can... the transport via plane? You already did. We already did. Gotcha, okay. Yes. Um, well, I can talk telepathically, so I can talk to them for eight hours. You can talk at people, yes. <laughs> Yeah, we just relay messages to Leo so he. Uh, you can now pretend to be a, um, a school teacher on a like kindergarten outing. Like, no, no. Come on, kids, my follow me. No, follow the big no, cloud. No. Welcome to Radio Leo's Eos Eos. You can only listen, and I can talk. Oh, oh. That just eight hours of self uh, a self added delay on my voice. Sweet. <laughs> oh, let's fly to work. <laughs> Welcome to Radio <laughs> Leo, where we're gonna listen top 10 Leo songs. It's a bit I've written on the three. <laughs> There's an ancient song that the dragons sung to each other. It's called I've Been Looking for Freedom. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh... I'm gonna sing eight hours of I've Been Looking for, for Freedom. <laughs> No, I'm not. Uh, so by the time you reach the Skyish Mountain, you find yourself to be alone, as your companions have died from psychic damage. <laughs> I die first, it's okay. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Um, then I'm it's kind of bad to have a lot of HP. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So that's... Flowers, yeah. So, four hours of flying over the Lunar Woodlands, you reach the foot of the Scourge Mountain. Considering the delay in time from your uh, departure, uh, I mean, it's still light, but it's definitely a little late afternoon. Um, I will tell everyone, let's transform back for a minute and uh, discuss how we actually find the monks, because I have no idea where they are here. Also breathing. What? Mm. Eh, I don't need to worry about that, just <clears throat> keep going. It's cool. There's no uh, spell, there's a spell of water breathing, and there's a spell of just breathing. <laughs> Air breathing. Great uh, air. <laughs> I remember Mount Pyroteos. Yeah, this is... I I think Skyreach Mountain is higher, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes! Yeah, okay. Well... I'll play that reaction a lot higher, which is awesome. So Skyreach Mountain is at least two meters higher. At least. 
It is at least two meters high, yes. <laughs> Probably at most five meters high, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I would suggest we ask our very undead friend here, um, Damien, how do we find oh, these that monks? Oh, that is a very good question. I have never met them. I just heard that on this mountain there is a ascetic uh, order of the mind clarity or something, air clarity, I wasn't sure about that part. But they live on the mountain and through meditation and uh, abstinence they have learned to survive the terrible cold and the terrible lack of oxygen. He doesn't say oxygen because he doesn't know oxygen exists. And Definitely. the terrible lack of, uh, you know, good food. And they guard the thingy to the airplane. That's all I, I know. Say, let's just fly up as high as we can. And then let's see what we find from there. Like, because... From highest up, it'll probably be the easiest to go around the tip of the mountain to see if we can see it downwards anywhere. Well, if you uh, need some good I... news, I do not require to breathe. That is good yeah. news for you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, if, happy. If, if we wait another day, I could transform into another undead creature, so I wouldn't need to breathe either. How about... perks. Or we could just send uh, him forward to scout ahead and then tell the monks, hey, we, I got a, another bunch of people waiting down. Can you help us? And then they that? will say, they shall only meet us when they make their way up here on their own. Or something cryptic like that. That does sound like something monks will say. <laughs> or, or they mean just don't find his way back. You know, that's also always an option. Let's... Okay, how about Let's this? Just... We wind walk as far as we can get up there until it gets shitty to, to breathe, and then we might need to spend some time there to get Acclimated. used to. Yeah. Um, because I'm not sure that flying directly yeah. up to the top is a good yeah, idea. Yeah, it takes 30 days to acclimate, yes. 30 it's days? only 30 days. What? Yes. Yeah. Well, or, you know, case, let's, let's dash up there. <laughs> let's just see what happens. Yeah. Really? Well, 30 days? That's what it says in the book. Oh my god, okay. Or everyone can just go undead for a while and be cool. <laughs> I mean... Acclimate that way. So, others, you can certainly turn others into lesser vampires if you so desire. Oh, right. Forgot about they that. Let you. Mm. It's okay, I have I have a different strategy for this. A different strategy is we get like a bowl, we fill it with water. <laughs> and then we turn people into goldfish and throw them in there with polymorph, and then they can breathe the water until we're uh, up. you do know then when pressure changes, the amount of oxygen no, in the no, water changes no, no, as well. No, 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 no science. <laughs> <laughs> no science. Okay, then yes, let's go with that plan. That would be the best way for you guys to die. Let's just go up. I'm imagining a dead Trego in a bowl of water. <laughs> Flush it down the toilet. Yeah, just imagine like your canic bowl of polymorph goldfish, and then at some point one of them dies because the person suffocated, and then they turn into their real person form, and the bowl explodes, and all the other dead goldfish just go flying all out of it. And turn into corpses me there. It's a brilliant plan. Uh, it's a wonderful plan. It's a very artist plan. I've been missing those. Let's go. Uh, let's fly. Uh, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I could. Also. Is there more air on the ethereal plane? Uh, I believe it kind of copies the prime material mostly. Hmm. Okay. Well, 
Shit. Yeah, you can say that. That's not an option. If you really even need to breathe on the astral plane, I don't know. I don't think so. You know, if it's I see not, a not the astral bad, plane, it's the ethereal plane. No. Yeah. Uh, well, I could cast control weather, and if it's stormy up there, I can give us sunshine. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> How about we brighten the day a little bit. Rising. Oh yeah, yeah, rising. We'll see what ha if it gets too bad. I'm sure we can make a stop and uh, talk about what actually needs to be done. Let's go. And as we're going up, I would like to look out for birds that fly at very high altitudes in advance. Um, okay. Uh, you're wind walking, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's see if your move speed is 30 miles per hour. Okay, is 48 kilo per hour, meaning that in 10 minutes you do 8 kilometers. That's a lot. Yeah, that's uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. 10 minutes, 8 kilometers, so 5 minutes, 4 kilometers. <laughs> Alright, so you dash upwards and you air form for about 4 minutes. Uh, whereupon you start noticing that the breathing becomes much harder. And. From this point, the next five minutes of travel is gonna count as if you have traveled for ten minutes for the purpose of getting such. You continue ascending for another um, another four minutes. Uh, whereupon you actually reach the cloud layer, and I mean, what's your plan? You're just going up to the top of the mountain? We're, I mean, we're looking at the there. mountain and seeing if we can f see anything that looks like people live there. But if we don't, yes, see there's a bunch of bikers on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dope ass track, I hear. Um, <laughs> But if we can't see them as we're going up, then yes, I would like to go to the top to like from see from up. Okay. Make me a perception check. Everybody who's looking. Why am I the one talking? Yes, I am. I am. Okay. I mean, can I check for? I am willing to assume that all of you are looking, not just being lazy. Ss. So bad. Last nine. Yeah. Wow. I'm coming. Hold oh, on. Oh, that's cool. Good thing I had advantage. Why? You had uh, the roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where's Dardus to save the day? Where is he? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Come on, that twenty. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Happy to trust him as gun. Same. This is stupid. I love it. Oh fuck, I need to make a new thingy because trust him as gun. Alright, whatever, later. Okay. Um so going up the mountain, you don't see crap because it's a huge mountain. And you basically have a choice. We're traveling close to the mountain, and we don't see even 1% of the mountain, or we go like half a mile away from the mountain, and we try to see all of the mountain, but thereupon you face the problem of we're half a mile away from the mountain. Do you have a complaint? Why is that a problem? Because of the clouds? Uh, because people are not very good at seeing small objects half a mile away from those small objects. 
That is a fair point. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could argue that some people are not very good at seeing small objects three meters away from them, but... You know? Yes, um, yes, I... Uh, you, Milora, you, however, you barely notice a trail carving into the side of the mountain and at first you think no no, no that's not a trail it's just um no, optical illusion i just thought it's a trail but then you notice the bright uh, pieces of cloth kind of fluttering in the wind that mark the edges and you barely notice them from the distance, and only because you have a really good perception check, passive perception check, which apparently is enough, while a natural 20 is not enough when it becomes a 19. Uh, and you point it out to the others, and you uh, fly in that direction, or more like you fly in that direction, and others notice that, because you're clouds and you can't point in things, you have no hands. Uh, but approaching much closer, you do see that, yes, it is a very narrow, like, three foot wide pathway. No, that screenshot is like, that's, that's like a highway of a mountain pass. This is like literally from the movies where you have to go, you know, like this to go. And mm. occasionally there are just like a couple wood planks are stretched across a... Uh, mile of sheer wall being held by just a couple of pythons hooked into the wall and marked by barely a, like a blue piece of cloth and well thank god you're not climbing the mountain on foot well by now you are about five kilometers up in the air and uh, I guess. I hear eerie music coming from the clouds. <laughs> uh, and uh, I think most of you. One sec. Yeah, and at this point, like everyone except Melora and. Zardos, who are still holding on, you are feeling the air being so thin. It's not about getting tired from going upwards, it's, it's getting dizzy from going upwards. Mm. Going unconscious in a cloud form is not a good idea. Yeah, we should stay somewhere that if we do go unconscious at least we don't fall uh wait let me check something hmm. i might have something that could help us in our searches well i haven't done it before though if we don't stay... We... Sorry, go ahead. Don't we just follow this path upwards? Yeah. That's the easiest way. I guess. Yeah, we just float next to it, and when we find a place that looks comfortable enough so I could re uh, land as Kieran... Well, I don't really need to land, but you need to land. <laughs> As a Kirin, if I fall, I just hover. Really? Even if you're unconscious? Even if I'm unconscious, I hover. Oh, Tana well. Signal. Hmm? Tana's saying no. <laughs> Not in an unconscious state now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, well. 
Mm, yeah, let's find a place where we can all fall. I would like to look upwards from here. How far up does the tip seem? You don't see the tip. You are approaching the clouds. I thought we were above the clouds. Not yet, how, no. How far off the ground are we? About five kilometers. Five kilometers? Mm hmm. Mm. I mean, there are already clouds beneath you, some of them. I remember. Science, well, some clouds do. Mm, no. No? If you're, they are way further down, usually, than this. Uh, that's how it usually goes in the Belgian spot. Oh, well, as the DM, go. you, yes, you dictate what the science is. Magical Dunny Clouds! Uh, no, 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 yes, that's what I mean. I do say that they, there are some clouds below you, because they do start, like, two kilometers up in the air. Uh, I'm talking about, you know, that cloud layer. Like when you go through an airplane, through like a solid cloud layer. Because I think that's uh, high clouds. Yeah, because those form between like 2 and 6 kilometers. Yeah. Well, let's make a decision. Mm, I mean, I'm talking about the... I think flying along the path and the... Uh... Cumulonimbus. Oh, jeez, please. Maybe you know the people who don't need to breathe? Zardos, you don't need to breathe, right? Seems that way. You can save anyone if they happen to go down. Not in cloud form. Why not? Because he has no hands to grab people that I... No, no, that's what I mean. Down. If he... Uh, you mean him and Carl Classroom, yeah, that's what I mean. If you turn back and you're immune anyway, you can save anyone who might start dropping. And you can take the carpet or something. I could. But, I mean, if you guys start falling as clouds, is there really anything I can... Uh... Can do? So... I mean, you could like try and get Zardos onto a carpet and put other clouds on the carpet because the clouds are technically semi-solid for some reason because you can be hit with weapons, so you are somewhat solid. Or, or put put all your cloud forms into a burlap sack. Just carry that. That, and just like he goes up and then he sees which of the clouds are moving. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> it's you like, I bought six goldfish, I came home, one of them is still moving. Good! Yeah, just poke into the bag, lay. wake up, wake up. It wasn't, it wasn't so bad the last time, I'm sure we can take it. We should just head up a little further, <laughs> along the path. Cloud form, fly above the path, you will drop onto the path, hopefully. How high above the path? Just like... If Eat. Why not? Just zoom up the path. No, for reference, occasionally the path is like like this, so it's not like it's always like this, and you can just fly above it. It's it's like this, like this, always. What? Is there any wind? Uh yes, there is a lot of wind. That interfere with a falling unconscious cloud person. Yes, that will. Here was a falling unconscious cloud person. It'll be fine. You know what I just thought about? Being in the Kirin form on a very small path is not very good. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can howl is next to it. Although... We can also walk yeah. up and we'll have the same shit happen to us anyway. Mm. You, fall un you fall unconscious on that pass, you'll just be slower, but you'll still be sledding downwards. And yes, someone will catch you. We'll just take like two more days yeah, to get up. But as a Kirin, no one will catch me because no, no, I, I will. my body will catch you and smash you down into the I abyss agree. as well. I am mostly advocating for just uh, flying up as quickly as, po as possible instead of... The slow way will also be painful for us too, and we'll just be slower. 
pretty much. What spell circle do you have access to, Zatos, by now? Uh, I'm up to a fourth. Hmm. I mean, I can cast at fifth, but... Well, well, how does that old saying go? Uh, Yolt, you only live thrice? I also know the one where only the strong survive. No, it works too. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is only the Kirin survives saying somewhere out there. Sure. Uh, let's then continue up ahead and see how far we can get. Yes. Let's see if we lose Pitrick here. Yeah, if anyone wants to, feels like they're going down, try to, I don't know, signal everyone else, I guess. I signal Leos. Yes. Wait, what's your natural fly speed? <laughs> My natural fly speed is 120 feet. Why do you have access to dispel magic? Uh, yes. So how about you just on the cloud, we fly at your speed and you can, uh, if someone was unconscious you can dispel the cloud form so they don't go too far down the path um why do i have to dispel them for that mm, i just feel like the cloud will go down further than a body that will hit something maybe but maybe not <laughs> or you can try and catch a, po a person more easily than a cloud you know <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's just fly up before we waste so much time here. Oh, waste more time. Really nothing. Waste more time. Uh, I will just command your body to stop midair. That will surely work. Yeah, definitely. Uh, or yeah, wake I... up. <laughs> wake? Yeah. Grab a brush and put a little makeup. <laughs> Huh? Uh, well, sure, let's just continue and see where we end up. But if you're... it gets much rougher, we can still stop. But you're trying to follow the path, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You are quickly follow the path that... Like, the path itself seems to be scarier than just flying next to it. Because there's a difference between we're flying and we would have to stand on that, which doesn't seem to have been maintained in years. Uh, but you follow the path that takes a much longer uh, approach uh, along the mountain than you could in your flying forms. But uh, after a few moments of flying uh, and another like half kilometer of ascent, you notice um, very small, I want to call it platform, but it's not so much a platform as an um, outcropping, uh, after which the path continues, but like that outcropping is large enough for maybe like three people to stand, and before the path continues, there is a, a old half-crumbled archway. Does it? Uh, does the archway have any kind of engravings in in them, or is it just a very rough? Want to like, come stone closer? Arch? Yeah, I want to go have a look. Uh, yes, it does make me an investigation check. Mm, seven. Mm -hmm. Which languages do you speak? All. <laughs> it just says all. Hmm. Really? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, you you recognize some of the words. This is uh, primordial, um, specifically Oran, but uh, 
you can't understand the whole meaning of the message. Because you can't see for shit. Hmm. Uh, okay. This is Orin, so we're getting cl closer. That's an elemental dialect. Um, what does it say? I have no fucking idea. It's hard to read. It's pieces of it. Probably something like, well, it's a long way down. Don't step on the like wrong stone or something. I don't know. Something that wise monks would say, I assume. I go through the archway. Maybe it just says welcome. I don't know. It's I can't read it, unfortunately. You went through the archway. Nothing changed. Give me two minutes. Sure. I would like to uh, like magic. turn back okay. where I am uh, on that platform. Mm -hmm. You immediately and... feel the full brunt of the battering queens. Yeah. And I would like to... As well as the terrible cold that none of you have dressed for. I am perfectly fine. Thank you. All right, I you still are. have enough heat uh, preserved from the plane of fire. <laughs> I am going to uh, try and see if I can, uh, at first okay. glance, understand what's written here. I it's speak primordial. Primordial, a dialect, but you need to like, try and clear up the sediments to see what the message completely says. So if you want to do that, make an investigation. I would like to press the digitation okay. away some sediment around. <laughs> Sure, make me an investigation check with advantage. Oh, why do I do this? Okay. Fuck ninth level spells. If there was a spell that you would want in real life, it's, it's this one. It's definitely this one. Uh, you fail to like clear it out completely. Parts of it are just like too old and are just like weather worn. But you uncover enough of it to like fill in the empty spaces, and the archway says. Draw your last breath. And in the center of the arch is a rune of some kind, a drawing that depicts. Um, you're not sure what, it kind of looks vaguely like, you know, like a will wind. But yeah. Okay, this archway says draw your last breath. So I'm not sure how literal that is, <laughs> but it might be very literal, like uh, when you try and go diving, and you better take a deep breath now before you won't be getting anything anymore. I think it's one of those hold your breath and then step in kind of things. I don't think it... Uh, I think it's further up. Yeah, I think... Might as well try and take it as literal as possible and see if it changes anything. We'll be very fast, so. Mm. One sec. thought it looks less like a wheel and more like some sort of a magical circle. Okay, now this might be have some arcane meaning. Can someone turn back to get an idea? Um, sure. Take a minute. I can do that. I will turn back and 
Now you hail the terrible call of the mountain and the Betanguians. <laughs> it had the boots on, but I haven't attuned. Damn it! <laughs> but yeah, I'll take a while and cast detect magic. Did you take no magic? Uh, if it is, it's not currently active. There's currently no magic in this. Uh, uh, please remind me, the next time that I transform into Kieran, I hand over the two wands to you. Oh no, never mind. It doesn't matter. You cast Detect Magic, you can do that. Uh, I'll take the wand. Uh, Opportunist. <laughs> uh, it does matter at the moment. Well, if it seems unactive by now, then we might as well continue. This might be some trial to go up, and we've only just seen one path, his piece of it, and there was more below or some shit. Who knows? Could be. I mean, just in case, I'll... <laughs> Yeah, imagine imagine that there's this, like seven pieces of a doorbell, and you have to act, uh, ring at absolutely every single one of them. Otherwise, the monks and won't open the, the thing door. is yeah, in particular the, order to do them in a particular order. Yeah, like bell number one is here, and then bell number two is like five hundred steps up. Then you need to go three hundred down, and then a thousand <laughs> down. <laughs> oh. And you need to do that in a certain time limit. Okay, uh, that sounds yep. more, more painful the more we talk. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll, just in case, I'll take a breath and then step onto it. Make another kind of check, Do you have training? Nope. Mm. Wonderful. Okay. You take a breath, you take a step. The steps crumble a little bit under your foot. I mean, you feel literally no difference because you do not breathe. Yeah. And you taking a breath yeah. is just you, like, okay, how do I do that again? I will, <laughs> seeing him do that, I will try the same. I'll just uh, hold the breath and then step on through the doorway just okay. to see if anything happens then, but probably not. It is pretty hard to hold your breath when you are trying not to get blown off a mountain the exhaustion expands oxygen pretty quickly especially when the oxygen was not that thick to begin with but yeah. nothing happens as I step through yeah you hold your breath for like 10 seconds before you run out of it how much do you usually get when you try to drown it's con modifier plus one minutes yeah okay yeah, let's just keep kind of continue. I think this thing is gone. Whatever it was. Sure. I'll turn back into a cloud. Yep. Right. You turn all back into clouds and continue following the staircase. Are you ready to make a constitution saying so? I. I think everyone gets plus four. I'm gonna use my last luck on this. Have you rolled yet? Hmm? Yes, I rolled a ten. I don't see anything. No? Oh, there they are. And then the second yeah. one is a twenty-nine. Okay. And do we have Melora? Do we have Jesse around? Oh, 26, there we go. Okay. I would like to use bend luck on Leos's roll. Ah, uh, sure. Alright. You. Uh, Actually, I can't. I think it's a reaction. Never mind. Sorry. You gently float upwards. When you notice that the larger cloud stops moving and starts. Drift away from the mountain at an alarming pace. 
Leos? You're a cloud, you cannot speak. We can speak telepathically to him, so I'm trying to communicate. He can communicate. speak telepathically to you. How have we been talking all along so far? Oh, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> he has been... Actually... Actually, you I should don't... not have been able to talk, yeah. It, he doesn't have a double connection. He has a single... So... Uh, shit. Uh, so, so I'm just being, like, pushed away from the mountain? You are unconscious. Oh, okay. And the rest of them see as you are being blown away by the wind. Oh, shit. Which direction? Downwards, upwards, where is he Diagonally going? Diagonally downwards and away from the mountain. Can we kind of sweep under him as a cloud form, try to push him back in you towards the try. I'll give it a shot. Um, you feel terrible discomfort as the molecules that currently comprise your body go through the molecules that currently comprise his body, but the form of the clouds is not tangible enough to hold anything. And he continues being blown out. So... How fast is he drifting away? At a speed of about 500 feet. Damn. Per second? Per round. A fast per round. We can move. Oh, okay, this is... Okay, well, I guess he's gonna be falling a couple of miles. Because I don't see anything I can do. Yeah. Unfortunately, with us being in cloud form, we can't do anything. Can't cast spells or not. And someone can. How far away did we go from the uh, from the archway and perch that we? Almost to the cloud layer. No, but okay. So we went to the cloud layer, and now he's falling back to there. I mean, I have to spell mm -hmm. magic, but I can't read. Like in a round, he he's gonna. a minute to turn back in, uh, to be able to yeah. cast it. Yeah. yeah. And, and round... I will be long gone by then. Yeah. This is literally just up to chance now that I don't fall to my death. No, uh, we can. We have a movement speed of 300 normal. We can dash to 600 normal. We can follow you. In this situation. Um, I am going to start dashing after this cloud, and I am going to start turning back mid-air. Uh, what I would like... I don't think you can fly and turn. I think you have to stay still. You do? I think so. It says you're incapacitated and can't move. Yep, it does say to... so in the spell. And then it's impossible to catch him. Then yep. we just need to drift behind him, and that's all we can do. Yeah. We can just follow him and see where it leads, because we can't do anything else. Yep, and then I have to try again. And come back. So yeah, start following him. Hmm. Right. Let's roll some dice. Hmm. All right. So, Leos is currently being uh, blown away further into the lunar woodlands, deeper into the forest. You follow his cloud for a good minute. Actually, the first minute he 
would be blown out at a relatively slow pace, after which he accelerates. And... We just let go and accelerate at the same pace if we let the wind take control of our body. Should be just the same thing of our cloud body. Yeah, sure. To follow him, basically. Yes. Just so he doesn't outspeed us. And... After about four minutes, the crowd that just comes crashing down somewhere in the Lunar Woodlands. The rest of you following behind as quickly as you can. Can I ask for an argument here? Uh -huh. Like, uh, I feel like crashing down is really weird when he is so light that he is moved so easily by wind, right? Just like an uh, ant can't ever die from dropping from because uh, the way gravity works, the harder you are, the less it takes, uh, the, the more you weigh, the, easy, the more easily it becomes deadly to you. The less you weigh, an ant can't ever die from falling. Yeah. Okay. And so I would hope it would function somewhat similar for a cloud. Could it, uh, yes. We can dash for 600 feet, right? And you said Leos is falling 500 feet. Right about so. So we can keep up with him, right? Yes, that has yeah. been the we'll idea. We'll follow him to wherever okay. he goes down. Mm, to be fair... Now what, since I haven't done anything yet, I'm gonna retcon it a little bit, well, depending, maybe slightly. Uh, Leos, make me another constitution thing, so... Sure! Alright, yeah, in that case I'm gonna retcon it a little bit. Uh, you don't come crashing down in the Lunar Woodlands uh, after about two minutes of that uncontrolled descent, you Leos come back to consciousness. Mm. Once you I have would went down like to a stop seeker. or flight towards the mountain again. Uh. <laughs> okay, alright. The rest of you notice his cloud stop mm -hmm. and start dashing back towards the mountain. Oh. I will Let's land. You cannot speak. Yeah, just a loose. I'm gonna say, well, fuck me. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> let's fly up there again and see how far we get. And I will just fly up again. Wait, can we respond to that? Nope. Nope. It just oh. ride your Leos. I mean, you don't have to follow or listen. Uh, are we dashing forward or are you guys... I think we're moving normally for now. And uh, as we approach the we, uh, as we approach the point we were at before, mm -hmm. I would like to like quickly dash ahead of Leos if possible, and then visibly start uh, transforming back uh, in front of the where the outcropping was basically, since it was after that that we really got into trouble. Leos, are you traveling at maximum speed? Uh, yeah, I would. In that case, you cannot dash ahead of him because he is already moving at maximum speed and you're all moving at the same speed. Are we all dashing up there? I mean, yeah, following that's him, what yeah. you say. I was Just... fly, fly, I, I mean, I'm using my normal flying speed. I'm not, not dashing for the next 10 minutes. I'm just flying up there. So the same speed we have uh, traveled on before. Yeah, the, the 30 miles per hour speed, basically. Mm. Yeah. And I would like to quickly get ahead of him, to dash a couple of rounds mm. to get ahead of him, to make it visible what I'm trying to do. Okay, sure. Yeah, um, well, uh, if... Emma is the... Well, wait, actually, I don't need to be on the mountain to transform back into the Kirin because it can hover as well. Well, I'm, if uh, if he lands, I would uh, wait for uh, wait for him to transform back. 
I will just like uh, as soon as I'm transformed. Uh, I think um, from here we'll need to try the alternative route, or we're gonna be taking the fly down a couple more times before this happens. Ah, uh, I forgot an ability that I have. Which is uh, legendary resistances. Hmm. Mm, it wasn't easy on me either. Maybe the next time I'm the one holding down. Ah, uh, well... And there's uh, nothing we can do about it. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, um, how do you want to proceed? Do you want me to... Uh, do you want to turn me back into humanoid form? Or should I stay in this form? I think you're fine in this form. It'll be good. it'll be all right, and we You're can hire help you. Are. And um, then we can go on up. You can carry someone who can already fly, and the carpet can take. And Malara can be a. Light. Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I'm getting the 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 mechanics of traveling upwards. If I fall unconscious, I will just float away again. Yeah, but Zardas can be. If, if, you're, if you're if you're not in cloud form, Zardas can feather fall you. Yeah, and we can catch you. And then we can catch you. Uh, if he's not okay, in cloud form, he's also gonna be falling I'll much faster. I just do it. I don't get the. Uh, I hey. don't, don't get it. I think we should all uh, transform back. Yeah. Because if I'm anyone back. manages to roll a natural one on their save. And get fucked, then we just need to start all over again, otherwise. <laughs> and we don't know if they'll get as lucky with uh, things. Uh, okay. Sure. And I will... Yeah. Well, we... Uh, this, still, uh, this spell will... Actually, uh, let me do one thing. Uh, when I transform back, I will recast the spell. So we have it eight hours again. If we need it, we have it. And if we don't need it, we don't use it. Hmm. But then... from my position, when I was, uh, uh, when I was uh, a cloud, I was carried off, but I didn't die. If heavy material bodies start plummeting and we don't catch each other sounds like certain death to me but i follow whatever plans you want to do might as well bet it all again let's go i'll turn back into a cloud fuck it Otherwise, we're just going to be making con saves for 20 hours as we walk up this piece. Yeah, I have a feeling it has to do something with the archway, though. Right. Oh, I have no idea. Just and... turn this into a cloud and try again. See which cloud floats off this time, I guess. At least Patrick and Damien have been doing fine, I guess. Oh, right. I forgot about them. Well, Damien doesn't care. Kijirik, I need to open up Kijirik. Yeah, this shit. Uh... Actually, ah, that's annoying. Here's a stupid question, uh, but <laughs> I, Paladins can't ritual cast, right? Correct. I don't believe so. Okay, so even if I have a spell that has a ritual tag on it. Correct. Okay. If you had the feet ritual caster, you could. But you'd need. Extra stuff? It's not like it's uh, you have It doesn't matter, I can't ritual then. cast. Yeah. For that, yeah. Uh, why? Did you have a spell that would help? I thought about maybe communing with nature. And ask... Oh, hmm. Hmm. It has... Uh, I could ask for the influence from other planes. Plane of air. <laughs> Uh, maybe buildings or people to see where the monastery is at, roughly. Or pe yeah. I mean, be a good plan, yes. If we if we happen to be more than one day here, here for more than one day, then why not? You know. 
Oh, you don't have it prepared, or do you have? I it have it always prepared. It's a sacred oath. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, do you want to cast it? I think it's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. I'll. Uh, so Trego will put his hand. I guess. Is we, there a we... place to land? Right. There's. There's, uh, there's enough there's place for three people to stand. Three people. Yeah. And currently, who's standing there? Arvis. I and think that's all. Okay, so um, I yeah, so I land turn into a into a trego. <laughs> into a trego? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Then uh let give me a sec here. And I'll touch the wall of the mountain. Alright. Uh close my eyes, concentrate, and I cast this as my fifth and only level spell. Alright. Well, you concentrate for a whole minute. Mm-hmm. Where you cast it. Um well what Facts would you like to know about any of the following subjects? Um, the influence from other planes of existence, uh, buildings, and people? And peoples, I guess, yeah. And what would you like to know about them? Uh, I don't know. What do I gain? Like, I get the knowledge of... Up to three three facts. So, which facts would you like to gain knowledge about? Location. (laughs) Okay. Uh, uh, There is... Influence from the plane of air about 2.5 kilometers above and slightly slanted from you there is a building about two kilometers above you and there is a small group of people about the same distance as the building okay Done. okay so so yeah i i say uh they're about the monastery i think is about two kilometers away the influence of the plane of air is 2.5 kilometers away. Well, that's at least a good thing, because now we know that there is for sure a gate. Or at least the influence. or the Yeah, but the influence is far away. I thought maybe if it would be closer, we could actually take air from it. I don't know. Yeah, um, I don't think the the signal here really means that much anymore. It doesn't mm. feel like you could hold your breath for walking up two miles. Or two kilometers, rather. You try, like you <clears> tried <throat> it, but you couldn't hold your breath, right? I was, I was... I held my breath for ten seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> At first Out of character, I thought maybe... did you make a check? Out of character, did you make a check for that? No, right, okay. No, it just was like that. I was, at first I thought maybe it you know you know maybe it's some sort of uh magical ritual that you have to that you literally have to take your last breath and let the wind carry you off or something and you, you will magically sp- teleport to the temple or, or something I don't know but I mean the path goes on beyond it so I don't know I think uh, we just try and follow it again and see what happens. At least the confirmation is very good and we'll know where to look. Now we just need to pray it works. Should we all take a very, very deep breath and dash forward, see how far we can get with that? or? Sure. In Cloudfall? Yes. I mean, we all, I already sort of tried in human form and it didn't do anything when I stepped through holding my breath. So. Uh, yeah. Can I take a look at the... Art- We're at the archway, right? Yeah. Yeah, I want to take a, a look at the archway. Alright. Um, and I'm looking for... Freedom? Freedom, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't read it. Nope. But I guess I'm looking for maybe... I've arcanic signs or like i've seen teleportation symbols runes whatever and i know it's not 
I mean, the only thing that matches a definition of a sign or a symbol is that wirly thingy in the middle of the arch. Well, top middle, top of the arch. Wirly thingy? Yeah, the one that I described to Arnis. Is it like... Okay. Uh... How much knowledge does... Can I touch it? <laughs> okay, I touch it and then I turn a deep breath in. Okay. Then I go through it. Huh? I try and walk up. <laughs> okay. I hold my breath. Yeah. Your breath runs out pretty quickly. Okay. Can I, I ask if, is this circle something we've seen before or is this something complete? Make an arcana check? You have no blood idea. Hmm, maybe, okay. Leos, did you I want to say it, something? I... What? Leos. Hmm? I think you started speaking something, but... Oh, um... Yeah, but... The, yeah, I, I think I already asked. Uh, Damien doesn't possess any further knowledge on how to proceed, right? Nope. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take a deep breath, then exhale everything, so okay. no air in lungs, and then go. Make the me a constitution same throw immediately. Okay. Twenty-two. Right. You know that moment when you stand up too quickly and everything goes black. Mm -hmm. You experience that for a moment as forceful ex hail ex ex spell. Expulsion of all air from your body causes a momentary blackout. Thankfully for you, you catch yourself before you go plummeting off the mountain. You get okay. a feeling that you are. You don't have much freedom at the moment in terms of how much oxygen you have in your body. And okay, so any forceful movement will use it very quickly. Fuck. Okay. Uh, so I can't if you try to fuck at this much. altitude, you will most likely die. No, but there's no... Like, I can't go through it without no air in my lungs, right? I mean, you can try. It doesn't seem like it does much so far, but you can try. Have we... Have we asked the company how f how f high up the flying ship can get? Uh, they said it can get... They haven't tested the maximum, they were like... I mean, we got pretty high up, then we couldn't breathe. <laughs> I think the humans are will be more of the problem. They basically before. said, yeah, the humans run out of air quickly and then the ship runs out of ability to fly. Which is why I have the, it's not airtight and it does not produce breathing air on your life support. Okay. It's not a submarine, either. <laughs> so, in theory, we can assume that the ship would get up until at least here, if not further, right? I mean, if you want to risk it, once again, you can put everyone in cloud form on the carpet and have somebody who doesn't breathe navigate the carpet and hope that you survive the trip, but... There's a different option. It only takes us like four or five minutes to fly up here. We might as well also try flying the path downwards and see if there's more of these things. If maybe this will... What, more of back. archways? Yeah, more archways. Maybe it is the first. You need to have activated something further down below for this to work. Who knows? I mean, we do have the time. So. And it's not, it doesn't take a lot of time, right? Yeah. It takes five minutes to fly down there. Might as I'm well all for it. follow this. I think it's a good idea. Maybe we missed something. Yeah, let's go. 
I'll turn back into the cloud and uh, let's start flying down the path. There you go. Yeah, I turn back as well. Okay. Uh, yep. You turn back into the cloud form and start following the path down. Um. I mean, once again, you have to slow down because the pathway doesn't follow the slope, as well as you kind of don't want to miss anything. You will if you travel at full speed. Uh, but uh, about a thousand steps below, you find another arch. Uh, this one doesn't have any space to. Transform, well, maybe one person can do it on the steps. Well, everyone can do it on the steps if you stand behind each other, I guess. <laughs> There's just not mm. much space. Um, Is there writing on it? Uh, there does appear to be some kind of writing on it, yes. Can I read it? Uh, you can search and try and make an investigation check. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Um, once again, you can't read all of it. And if you didn't find the previous arch, you most likely wouldn't have understood, but you have a feeling this arch says literally the same thing as the one you saw before. Mm. At least the words seem to match the one that you can read. Is there uh, the symbol that we saw before? There is something. Mm. And you can't quite recognize it, but there's definitely something. What do you guys think? Breath it out? I turn into an arrow shaped cloud and uh, point further down. <laughs> sure. You turn yeah, in a, into a sausage shaped cloud? <laughs> <laughs> sure, as long as it gets a point across. Uh, you continue your path downwards, and about 2,000 steps below, and a couple of minutes of travel, you find another arch. Uh, this one seems to be in a better condition than the ones above. Uh, easier to read? Uh, slightly easier, yeah. Yeah, I would like to try. Make an investigation check. 19. Draw your last breath. Okay. So, based on this assessment, all three archers say the same thing. Draw your last breath. What if, what if, if, what if this is like their mantra? Is that uh, this is the thing that they tell themselves as they ascend into this new life. They draw the last breath of maybe their previous life. I don't know. Maybe it's something spiritual. Maybe not. I don't know. Further down. You travel further down a good five minutes. Uh, steps become just uh, slope. Whatever pathway they found that leads up here. It does seem that whoever made this pass has tried to use the natural incline of the mountain as much as possible, carving only whenever it was absolutely unlikely they'd find a pass. You'll find no other arches. But by this point you are low enough that you can breathe freely again. Okay. We can yeah, I turn back to the first archway. Yeah. Save, save. Okay. You race back up the mountain? I think I turned there back to a normal Trego. Huh? Mm -hmm. Before that first archway that uh, appears, and um, then we'll see what happens if we go through it in human form. If it brings up any magic. And draw form. our last breath. I would like to watch the archway where we saw the symbol. Um... When they walk through, I just want to observe if there's any kind of reaction to it. Uh, uh, make me a per uh, perception check, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm much better at those. Oh. Um, 
Passive is 19. The rest of your friends walk through the archway, some of them comically trying to hold their breath or expel their breath or some other things. You notice no perceptible changes in the lighting or shape or form or smell of the arch. And those of you who walk through also notice no changes. I mean, those of you who expelled all air find yourselves short of breath. But that seems to be the only difference. I don't know. I guess we're uh, trying it the hard way. This doesn't seem to lead anywhere, really. I mean, maybe it from... means a more sinister thing. Or maybe it means take a break here. Yeah, could be that. Or maybe it's just decoration. Yeah, let's ask the people at the top if we get there. Hey, people, what the fuck? <laughs> we could send Zardus and... Uh, and Damien. Uh, Damien, yeah. Up the mountain. It is an option. It'll take them a while, though. But No, I guess, yes. They're quite formed. Why don't you two just fly ahead and we wait at the third one? And you can ask them and then get back to us. Sure. And then if they it's make worth you a travel, try. You know what you you do what you do. Yeah, best, so we'll so. travel to the other to the third one and then from the third one Damien and Zardus will fly up two kilometers to the monastery. I used to be pretty good at talking to people and asking them not to kill me before I stopped looking like I mean it. This might complicate things. Yeah. It makes oh. me wish I had prepared Zardus something else for could, today. Zardus could also fly along. Or you can just fly along and watch and uh, not transform back. Oh, no offense, man, but I think if I have my... Why is it down? I might be better than him at. I don't look quite as broody. No, yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, actually, that is a really good idea. You scout ahead. Just in case you feel like it, I don't have any body, so I don't have any blood. Please don't bite me. Look, I'm not. I don't. I haven't bit anyone, alright? Yet? Yeah, well, oh, whatever, Bone Boy, let's go. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, so how far did you want to go together? Until the third um, arch mm, where okay. there was this platform. All right, yeah. all right, in that case, you all go there again. And most of you stay behind while Zardos and Damien kind of cloud look backwards and start going up. Yep. Alright. The two of you are sent further up uh, quickly uh, mingling and mixing with the Sick cloud layer, losing trace of track of your friends, losing track of yourself and each other. But eventually you do break through, seeing the lonely peak of the Scarish Mountain piercing through the cloud layer, being the only island of Earth on this seemingly infinite expanse of air all around you. The sun is brilliant and large above you, though it does not give you much warmth at this height and in your shape. You continue following the slope of the mountain, following the trail, following the tethered uh, closes it to mark the trail until you come across small, I wouldn't call it a valley, I don't think valleys exist at this height, but a small plateau, but upon you see a 
a wooden structure, jagged as the mountain around it. Is about how it looks like. Okay. Hmm. As we'll land a di some distance away and change back and walk up to it. Huh? Uh, Said, so, you ready for this? Got your visor already and good to go. Blink. As good as. One can be. Let's walk at a distance. I mean, from a charger, just in case the territory is hallowed and protected from undead. In case one of, us, one of us survives to return to our comrades and inform them of the demise of the other. Hmm. Good point. Sure, why not? Oh, you want to go first? Right behind you. Oh, you're going to make that? Fine. So you're full of cowardly bones now, but sure, whatever. Let's go. Alright. You start going up the steps. Your... The echo of your footsteps blown away by the wind. You come right up to the building. There's nobody coming out to meet or greet you. Just see the weathered wooden steps and the main gates leading to the building. Alright, I'll give a knock. The knocking echo through the room inside. No answer comes. Hmm. Think I should try again louder? What? <sighs> Whatever. I'll... Try, I'll knock again, but this time using... Knock? <laughs> no, I'm just... Thaumaturgy to... Get an even louder banging. Um, I mean, Thaumaturgy changes your voice, it doesn't make... Uh, your knocking louder. Thought I could just make a... Oh, you can make a sound, but... Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Or you can instantly cause or try to cause an unlocked door window to fly open. Yeah, I could, but I don't want to be rude just yet. I'm gonna All right. Start off with. Now, let's say you're not cloud. Silence. You uh, you want to go in? What? A good 60 feet back. I'll wave him forward. Get up here. I guess up to you. What? So do you want to go in or just stand out here and wait to see if they've heard any knocking? Have you tried knocking? Yes, a couple of times. I didn't hear you do that. Yeah, well, you seem to be a little hard of hearing. I mean, try like hearing try? when you don't have ears anymore. Sure. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. kind of a detriment to Knocks hearing. Knocks on the door. Hello! We're visitors, friendly ones. We bring uh, rations and stories and delight. Hello? Uh, I'm not sure they're hearing us. Did you 
try the door, is it? He like jiggles the door, which... Oh, it doesn't seem to be locked. Uh... He kind of like picks it open. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. I don't see anybody inside. Yeah, well, after you. Fair enough. He like barely opens the door and sneaks inside. Oh, no! It's quiet in here. Kind of got used to all the wind. Stepping after him. You see in front of you a pretty large. A single hole that looks to be a temple of some kind. There is a obvious pathway leading uh, forward up to a semblance of an altar uh, with what looks like a simple gong uh, hanging above it. There is a multitude of bells, big and small, hanging uh, among the pillars that lead up to the altar. Um, I think I already left. Maybe they're having dinner. Mm, could be. What time does it feel like about now? Um, it was like supper time. Yeah, they might be. It's been a while since I ate. Like a decade? Yeah, you... Hmm. Yeah, well, you do seem to be wasting away there. Uh, maybe we ring one of the bells? Be there, I guess? I feel kind of weird about just wandering around this place until we run into somebody. I uh, don't see any signs that says don't ring the bells. Okay, well, I'll give that a try then. Go over and give the bell ring. You go boom, boom, boom. The echo of the bell um, overpowering the uh, the whistling of the wind and filling the hall. I think we should give them some time to come here or try again. Yeah. We we'll just kind of have a seat and wait for now. See if yeah. anyone shows up. And starts walking around, kind of like checking the bells. I think they have like some kind of... I don't know... Stories depicted on them? Or... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take a look at those. And I suddenly feel like... Who's doing that? It's nice. No, it's <laughs> not. I liked it. Well, like it on your own. <laughs> um, where was I? Oh yeah. Stories? I mean, it has like people doing things. Oh hey, look, this one has like a third person. Uh, I'm like giving something to the people. Hmm. It's kind of small. Tell what they're giving. Um, not really. Uh, let's see. Can I rush the bell a little bit? Nope. No idea. Well, what do you have? Bad eyes now too. Have you taken a bath recently? That's what press digitation is for. Well, say that doesn't maggots. There are no maggots. Yet? Well, look, whatever you enjoy doing that has nothing to do with me. Right? You know, fun fact, 
The nose goes first. Have you ever checked recently if it's still well attached? I jiggle it. I'm perfectly fine. I'm not falling apart like some... Are you sure Go about ahead. that? Pretty sure. Have you changed the armor? Maybe like you take it off and you just fall apart? This is pretty new armor. Well, to mm. me anyway. Well... I mean, keep telling yourself that. You just... It's one day, you fall apart. But like I said, just because it happened to you doesn't mean it's happening to me. Suddenly you hear a voice. Huh. How curious. Come so far, and yet you still have strength to beak her. Perhaps you came to the right place. Uh, hello? Yeah. You turn around and see a old, bold man in long robes and what looks like a metal dress and with huge ass brass kind of like beads around his neck. And a bell that looks like wheels of air. He's using a long metal staff that looks like it sends her at the end of the walk. He brushes his long, long beard. Oh, don't offer couple counseling. I'm sure you could find something by yourselves in here. I heard something about food. About what? Food. I mentioned uh, yeah. food. We have some rations here, if you'd like that. Huh. I would it's not say no to a dinner orientation. It is supper time, after all. It's not much, but you're welcome to it. It all looks about like this. Well, do you offer the rations? Yep. Saying, yeah, it's not much, but you're welcome to it, and I hand him some. He looks at it. Hmm. Takes a piece of the cracker. I'll need to soak it, I think, for a couple of years before it is eatable. Uh, but thank you, your offering is greatly appreciated. We don't get many. I assume you did not come here to argue about the um noses, was it? Yeah, he has some weird interest. We're just coming about, coming ahead of our uh, couple of our friends who are having a little more trouble making it up the the mountain. Oh, do they now? I said it's hard to come up the mountain without magic. Would you know of anything that would make things a little easier for them? There's uh, magic runes we've offered. Uh, we had a little trouble getting them to work. Have you tried... Can you do magic? Yes. Have you tried casting the magic? That we depicted on those rooms? Did not try that. Which... Spe just... Which specifically kind of magic was depicted? Was uh, it separate... Breath magic? Yeah. Breath. Yes. Draw the magic hmm. to get your breath. Oh. That would, uh. Hmm. I 
have you gotten up here without the help of that? That is a uh, we're... mighty impressive feat. Yes, well, like I said, we are a little more acclimated to such atmospheres. And uh, one second. So. I will send a message to Leos. Huh? Say, hey, uh, you guys might want to try drawing the magic, breath magic into the runes there. According to the monks here. I'm gonna say, okay. Zaros just said that we should cast or put energy into those kind of runes. Maybe read them like Ooh, can I read them like like a spell scroll? You can try and make me not a pie check. Mm. Dan, can I try what I was thinking about? Like, ever since they started going with Zardas and... and uh, sure. What are you thinking yeah. about? Drawing the symbol. Okay, and... Just drawing and, uh, the symbol? No, drawing the symbol and, yeah, last breath. Like, okay, holding breath. draw the symbol. Mm-hmm. Where do you draw it? Draw your breath. Uh, hmm. Can I? Do we have something that I can draw on myself? I don't know. You could use a stick and draw it in the snow that is lying around here. That is actually. I'll try that first. Snow. No, just like oh, no snow. With a rock, okay. like scratch on another rock. Let's try that first. Okay. I'll make my dexterity check. Just a straight check? Yes. Then you can make a curved check. If you know how. 15. Alright, you make a decent depiction of the uh, symbol on the rock in front of you. What now? <laughs> Okay, I draw another one, but first I hold, like, I draw my last breath, and then I draw it while I'm holding my breath. Uh, okay. You do that. I hate to tell you, Trago, but I think that's not, uh, I think these are dead. I don't think it works. Let me see if I have anything to draw myself. Uh, Mr. Dragon Unicorn. Yes. This is most certainly a magical circle. An unconventional one, but this is a magical circle. How uh, um, would I? Uh, I'm gonna try and like. Uh, can I? Can I um, read it as a spell and cast it, or would? Uh, or can I put magical energy into it? Um, you think it's um, it's like a spell scroll. Uh, as in, uh, well, it's not a spell scroll. It's like um, it's like a spell book. That's a mm. better analogy. It's a depiction of a magic circle. I want to try to cast it, to use it. As a kidding? Uh, yeah. You. Mm -hmm. Make me another kind of check. Eleven. Um, you try and carve out the circle on the stone with your hoofs. You're not sure, but that doesn't seem to be happening. I'm not sure whether it's due to you failing to do it right or due to the nature of your current form, but nothing happens. Uh, want me to draw it for you? 
What's no. happening? No, no, no. Th th think of it like a spell scroll that you're trying to read and cast the spell. Okay. Sure. And I'll... you know, you know that there are certain things that you can cast, and there are certain things that you can't cast. And I'm, I think I'm not like hitting the right note of it. Oh, Let okay, I'll try. try. Oh, sure, go ahead. Okay. Both of you make me another count check. Boom, Prega. You make the most beautiful circle that you can, and you like. <laughs> Nothing yeah, happens. You sell him? Uh, no, not sell him. Well, because it says sell him there. Why does it say sell him? You <laughs> change sell him to others. Yes. Uh, you are this. You draw it. Pretty crude representation of the magical circle, but you do know that you don't need to for it to be perfect. It just needs to be workable. And yeah. then you send the energy into it. And who are you thinking about right now? Me? Don't think about purple Myself. elephant. Right? Expand the third level spell slot. As you feel magic flowing through you. And you feel as if your lungs forcefully expand. And you can breathe normally. It's still, well, it okay. would have been cold if you didn't have the staff. You're still being battered by the wind, mm -hmm. but the thinness of air is gone completely. It's like you're on level ground down below on the plains of Aldan. Oh, it's nice. I can breathe normally now. Okay, um, you can just use the symbol, pump some energy into it. It felt like a third level slot, approximately. And you should be able to breathe as well. <coughs> and then we can go up. Everyone, turn back. I'm oh. gonna attempt to do the same with the third level spell slot. The question is, uh, what do we do with Pidgeric? Pidgeric? Can you yes, ask him if he can There's spells? enough space for three people to transform. I mean, I'll start transforming, but I, I, I mean, I can just take a step onto the path or some shit. I guess I can. I'll start transforming back yeah. into a cloud. Jake starts uh, transforming as well. And being a barbarian would suck, huh? Uh, two of you, try as you might, you draw it one way, you draw it the other way. Nothing is happening for the two of you. It's not working. Uh, it's like... It, it's like spell scrolls. If I were to try to read, like, the one for a cleric, I just can't get it to work. It okay. feels like that. Does it? Maybe. Out of character? Does it, feel, does it feel like I'm trying to do something that I normally can't do? It's hard to say. Mm. Uh, is Mil okay. is Milor doing something? Is Milor here? I'd be, I'd be following along with whatever anyone else is doing, so she... Trying to do a magic circle as well? Yeah, but... Um, I'm gonna try... I have enough spell slots. I'm gonna try a level... A what? Level 5 spell. I mean, sure, make me an account check. Yeah, hold on one second. It's f***ing out on me. Uh, don't, don't wait for me, because no, I'm having problems with yeah, the f***ing laptop. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Um, um, well, in any case, Ar it's not working for the two of you. Arliss... Can you cast, like, uh, like some spells can be cast on multiple pe people. Can you cast it on all of us? Breathe on me. I can, I can try. Breathe on me. Hmm? I go up to Arlette's face, and I'm like, just breathe on me. <laughs> this this thinness of air is not helping. Hey, what okay. you have for breakfast? When he, yeah, when he <laughs> puffs air, I take it in. It smells probably like it onions. Smells like, and, yeah. Can I now breathe normally? Uh, no. 
I regret everything. This is... <laughs> you are... At least you are curious in trying things out. Well, oh, maybe uh, if you make out, it's gonna be, you know, like, share your breath. Yeah. yeah. Just to breathe um, into your lungs. Yeah, well, let's not try that one. <laughs> um, I am going to... Let me see what spells I have that affect... Uh, okay. Melora, uh, who are you thinking about when you're casting the spell? Jesse! Sorry, I had the button mute because I had to push control to try and shrink my screen yeah. back down. You said, who am I thinking about? Yeah. Hmm. I guess she would be thinking about Zardos since he's made it. We don't, well, we don't know. She was wondering where he went. Uh, wondering if they made it up there. Okay, sure. You finish the magic and you expand the first level spell slot and you too find your breathing return to normal. Oh, hey, it well, worked! I'll see. Let uh, I know uh, the sim similar magic that might press the feeling. And I'll try like as if I was affecting other people with a buff like fly okay. to include that and think of okay, Hitrick. I uh, have three, three others that are here. Arcana check or yeah. what? What did you say? Arcana, or yes, spell? yes, 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 Arcana. Oh, God. Da, da, da. I'm using Tides of Chaos. <laughs> Before it doesn't work, I pressed, I think. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, works. Works. All right. Work Who are you tides. thinking about? Um. Trego Pidric Leos, uh, or whatever that horse thing here is, the magical I, unicorn. I, it's Leos for I me. Expand the third level spell slot as the people mentioned feel their lungs. Feeling with air! Breathable, wonderful, sweet air of. We're not dying anymore. Um, mind if I go already? I don't know how long this will last. Yeah, just go on up. I'm gonna start transforming. Let's get up as quick as we can. Follow what the about, path. Yeah, Melora, you have that thing working for you? Yeah, seems to be working. I figured we had to think about the people who left us. All right, then let's dash upwards. All right, and all of you start rushing upwards before this spell fades and you die again. Meanwhile, <laughs> in the temple. Zardus, you're listening to the old monk. Yes. Well, did you think how we survived here? You know, breathing oh. exercises get you only so far. We have developed a magic connected to the plane of air. We just meditate upon it every day before sleep and in the morning, and it works for a day. Oh, nice. Yes. So what else do you guys do with your time up here? Ah, oh, ponder the infinity of the world, the lightness of our life within it. Uh, mostly it's just housework. It's hard to maintain things here. Well, I mean, I guess that's understandable, though I guess dust isn't really kind of a problem for you guys here with all the wind. No, no, no mosquitoes, thankfully. That is the best part. Oh, yeah, but... that would be nice. A few years ago, one of us learned uh, how to create uh, food with magic. Though we don't have trouble dying, but oh, honestly, I'd kill for just a pinch of salt. Anything to give food taste to that food. Hmm. I don't know if. I know we recently had some. Spices left. I don't know if we gave all those away or not. Spices? Yes, when my friends get up here, we'll see if they have any left. I'm not sure. Hopefully they do. Uh, you know. do have a couple <laughs> bags of drugs. <laughs> yeah, there's that too. Uh, Alright. Uh, right about now, the rest of you find yourselves dashing through the rest of the mountain, just going upwards directly. It takes you like 30 seconds at full speed 
boosting through the cloud layer and finding the outcrop upon which stands the temple. Uh, you land in front of it and I assume start turning back into your door openable forms. Yes. And this is where we're gonna take a break. Okay. Freaking classist mountain!
All right, we're back. So, the Hero's Talents have solved the puzzle of the mountain, drew their last breath, and ascended to the temple. Where they all regroup once again together. And... Oh. Judging by the constipated grunting, I think your friends have arrived. Question. Oh. Yes. Do I fit through the door as a Kieran? Um you can squeeze and okay. then you will fit. Yes, but like you are then. basically Like I'm gonna say like if you lift your head, you're gonna be like almost scraping the ceiling with your horror. Mm. Okay. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, good to know they made it up pretty, pretty quickly after figuring that out. That's my sound to make as a horse. I, I see. I suppose with a steed like that, you could climb the mountain. Uh, it is very shiny. Oh yeah, yes. very. Very talented. You know, you know what the best part about it is? They just look at Leah. I just Tell me. stare. It can talk to you. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a feeling this should be a deception check if Leo doesn't start talking. So I mean, this persuasion. <laughs> Of course, yes. uh, talking golden universe. Yes. 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 Of course. So. No. no, sorry, I didn't get your name. Well, it is not a uh, rule of the order, but. Uh, we decided it would be more appropriate if we abandon our earthen names and um, and accept uh, new names. Um, oh, <laughs> Hang on a second. You can call me, uh... Uh, that's a very... Brother cool. Mistral. Brother Mistral. Sure, why not? You can call me Arles, if you'd like. It's a pleasure to meet you. I say telepathically, telepathically to him. Yeah, that's the horse. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's horse. That's the look, yeah. yeah. Oh, a wonderful creature. He can reach into the pocket, takes out the super hard tag that Zardas gave him. Would you like a treat? <laughs> of course. I'm a horse. Horse is one treat. I need the treat. <laughs> uh, Does it seem to, to give him joy? A little bit, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gold. So, how many of you are there up here? Uh, last time I counted, there were about 20 of us. 20? 20? Yes. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, for a well, hermetic monastery, yes. For a city, no. Fair. I just... I'm, I think what I meant is more than I expected. A number of types of food we have up here? I wish so. Oh, well, okay. it's a pl pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, I'm Leos. I usually don't look that like that. This, I mean, I gesture with my 
face down <laughs> to the body. Hoofs, come on. Oh, please be careful as your horn almost like hits the uh, beam, the roof beam. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to be careful with that. Um... Please be careful, B. It is hard to bring repair materials up here. Yes, oh, wait. speaking of repairs, do you need repairs? Because I can repair things with magic. Um, Just if you want. Define like, repair. Small things like a broken ba a, a vase or like a plate that or needs spirit. fixing. What no, no, spirit. New walls, I can do that too, but whatever. Um, as you probably guessed, we didn't come here for just repairs. to pay you a visit or for repair. You did not? Not just, the no. Information has, the conversation has been great so far. Hmm. Very pleasant. Well, I suppose we are, uh... very few people ascend eight kilometers for just a walk. Um. Well, some people do. But you get their kind around here, riding around on their cane devices, buzzing all around. Okay. Have any of those visitors recently? Oh, not in the last half a century. Who was the last one, if you remember? I'm not sure they were from me. So, what we heard is that um, there is a portal to the elemental plane of air here. Oh, yes, here, yes. And um, we are sort of on a journey towards the plane and further. Oh. Um, but we are still mostly in the dark about a lot of things. Do you have contact with people from the other plane? What, or what do you know about it in general that might be of use for someone who travels there for the first time? Well, you might have to expand your definition of people. Creatures with the ability to communicate with us. So, yes, yes. Well, I assume if you knew the language of the airplane, you would have ascended in a much easier uh, manner. Um, I mean, I, I could read what it was. Oh! But it didn't immediately make sense for me to use magic on it. Uh, well, yes, we had a simple writing. Um, back in the beginning, but we had too many visitors, so we decided to uh, complicate things a little bit. Uh, that's why people like going cryptic with their messages. Yes. Keeps the visitors away. You just yeah. start reading your mantra for the 200th time, and then someone's on the door asking for enlightenment. You just can't uh, meditate like that. <clears throat> yeah, I can imagine. Well... I expect then you would like to want to talk to the people of the Eerie. They mm, are yes. very helpful for our um, well-being. Sure, yes, that sounds great. Uh, would you like yes. to speak with them now, or would you like to join us for uh, supper? Uh, we don't have to speak to them immediately. Yeah. If there's anything that you can teach us about them in advance, that would be really appreciated. For example, are there things that we should do when we meet them, like... Uh, customs or anything customs, to avoid? Uh, yeah, things we should never do, say... Uh, like sneezing really uh, offensive to them or something. Yeah, just well, spitball here. Uh, try not to guess their species. I don't like that when strangers do it. So sorry, what was that out of character? Guess guess their speech species? Yes. Species. Yes. 
Okay, yeah, sure. Guess their species, okay? Of a bird. Yes. yes. All right. Oh. Like that oh, one's yeah. an owl, that one's a pigeon, that one's a crow. Uh, don't, 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 don't do that. Yeah. They don't like when we do that. Hmm, okay. Because they don't know what we're talking about. Makes them feel out of the conversation. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's good to know. Um, anything else? Um... Well, unless you want to speak outside, you uh, might want to make yourself more compact. Mm. Compact? Uh, I can turn myself into a gaseous cloud. Oh, uh, I can uh, squeeze into kill us? the empty spaces. But, uh, I mean, you guys can talk to them. I can just wait here and chill. Mm, I'd like for you to be there. Just okay. Uh, oh, but they I will be the coming form. here. Oh, see. No more tel telepathy then. Hmm. Well, say again. I was just asking if our oh. animal companion had some. Still uses telepathy. Yes, and the companions are nice. Uh, I used to have a turtle. Turtles. Was my friend oh. for a long time. Turtles are nice. Yes. Uh, some of them are uh, pretty difficult too, though. Not all of them, but some. Don't fly very well, though. I go uh, next to Damien, and I'm like, uh, I'm whispering to him, you want to mention about the thing that you told me about? Well, it has seemed to be your quest. I am not sure I should in, 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 um, intrude. I mean, well, if you, you want me to be here. Ah, uh, ah, well, uh, Yes, uh, well, let's wait until your friends stop talking about him about tortoises. I don't think it will be polite to interrupt. So what kind of turtle? Many uh, turtles. Turtle 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 conversation. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation seems to go nowhere. It's very important. Very... Yeah, we, depending on the type of turtle he had, that could make a huge difference. It was a uh, Lucicaldian spotted turtle. See? That's very important. Yes. I have never seen such a creature. I a could pretty. show you his dressing place. Hmm. If I can reach it in my enormous form, I'd be happy to see it. Uh, please wait here. Hmm. He... Uh... Leaves you a little bit behind and walks to the altar and picks up something from it and returns. And you see, you know, like those like drums made from like they kind of look like turtle shell. Mm. Well, it's a turtle shell drum. Uh, here. Oh, you, you, okay. it's about this big. Oh, how oh, lovely. Yes. Well, um, well, we don't want to uh, take up too much of your time. Um, oh, we have a lot of time, are we? Okay, well, as long as we're not being intrusive. Um, um, Do you intend to be intrusive? No, 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 no. That's, that's why I'm uh, saying that I don't want to be intrusive. Mm. I really don't. Um, since we're guests at your house, it's... Yeah, we want to be respectful as possible. Yeah. Yes, uh, but... The house, really. Our dear friend oh, here make, with... Uh, pretty decent. Time um, to make it look... Tempo. It just was... Uh, yes! <laughs> the, uh, I, I try to point with my hoof at Trego. Uh, oh. This one has a question for you, and he is 
too shy to ask and tries to put off his own question to someone who has probably less of an idea why he's here. Well, I'm not shy. Oh. Hi. Um, Hi. So I've heard about this ritual or challenge. Um, challenge. Yes. This, this fellow, and I'm pretty sure Daniel, he told me about it. Yes? To better... <laughs> uh, to either ascend or wake up or something like that. It has to do with my spear here and his shield, I think. Ah! Uh, you are seeking martial instruction, yes? I looked to... Uh, I doubt it. You might want to talk to Brother Gale. He's uh, more physical. I I think I looked to Damien for that. What he's asking about. Um. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Your name's Damien. Um. I know what my friend referring to is the um, ritual of the sun. That this mountain is the closest to the sun and. Here we can bask in the glory and the light of the sun to improve our connection. Oh. Yes, yes, the sun is rather strong here. I think it's so cold, but it's very easy to get the sunburn. Um. I don't see why you couldn't. Um, well, isn't there some kind of a, a special place for it? Oh, son, son, son. Hmm. Hmm. If I could make a suggestion, maybe the peak might sound good. You might want to talk to Brother Chinook. He is more about the thing. Well, do you want to go to talk to Brother Chinook? Yes, I would very much like that. Could you point me to his direction? Hmm. I wonder what he is. How big is this place out of character? Well, not very, but... I mean, you don't know if they have more stuff, like underground or... side. Okay. Oh, would you like to join us for supper? Supper yes. sounds nice. I assume most of them will be attending. I should have think brought my food. Oh, well, let me sound the supper gong. I can, like, walks down the room, walks up to a certain bell. Hmm. This would do. Like, picks up his stuff, and BAMS right into it. BAMS one more time. And for good measure. Burn for the third time. <laughs> uh, we all fall unconscious. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> um Yes, yeah, so uh, these people from the Eerie. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, since since we're not uh, uh, ready yet to talk about Trego's quest here, um, would they be inclined to help us find our way across the plane of air? Oh, if... I wouldn't know. 
Hmm. Okay. I mean, they're pretty nice. Do they like anything particularly? Um, like food or like jewels? Frank? What was that? Flying? I like flying. to fly yeah. around, yes. Oh, I like flying around. Okay. I seem to be pretty uh, free. Would you like oh. me to call them? Uh, yes. Now? Uh, should we have uh, uh, supper oh, yes. first? Yes, let's have supper first. Okay. Bing! <laughs> oh, be careful with that. That's a uh, gone golf breakfast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very different. It sounds pleasant. <laughs> Oh, well, um, follow me. Oh, we'll bring something out for you, uh, Mr. Horse. Uh, whatever everyone else is, is just fine for me. I, uh, I, I don't, I enjoy the food that, like, humans or elves consume. Humanoid creatures, not. Oh, <laughs> he he he's lying. He he enjoys he enjoys horse, of course. I mean, if you do have carrots, I wouldn't say no to a carrot. I have to be honest. I wish we did. You guys, don't do any farming up here or anything. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, the day you learn how to cultivate rock will be a great day indeed. Then. Can be done. Well, oh, good luck with it. Well, come along, come along. Let me get you to the, to the mess hall. I shall follow. Yeah. I shall squeeze. Uh, no, you can't squeeze. Oh, then. This room is the only room with where I can fit double sized doors. Everything else is human sized doors. Oh. Gash if you want to go along, you need to be fart, man. Uh, Horse, yeah, in that case, I will. Thing. Every ten minutes, I will leave the room, go to that room, and uh, gaseous cloud up again. Gaseous form. I mean, uh, does he always do that? When yes. the place is too small, yes. That is very convenient. Yes, he's a very clever horse. <laughs> oh. I can talk. I can still talk telepathically, right? That well, you can talk to, but no one will be able to respond. Well, you can just respond by speaking with your voice. I can still hear in the gaseous form. I just can't talk with my mouth. Uh, uh, Mr. Horse, Mr. Horse. Yes. Come closer, please. I come closer. He whispers. He listens to you. Oh, would you like to uh, play a little bit of a prank on my brothers? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, I would, when I sit upon my seat, I would like you to you to rise around me and speak to the others. Well, is there anything I should say? Bow down to your new god. To your oh, new yes, fledgling yes. god, yes. Yeah, the what god? You are the flatulent eminence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it's nice to know you guys like to have fun up here. Uh, the, the flatulent. <laughs> it's the little things that pass the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the flatulent em uh, eminence should know a lot of things about passing. Oh. After yeah. 50 years, uh, we tried so many fart jokes. It's good to introduce <laughs> some variety. Oh, oh. Sh how, how about this? Uh, our friends go first into the room, 
and you come into this room, then you lift your leg and make like a fart sound, and then I come rushing in to the room. Like you just let the most vile rip through. And then you turn into a horse. No, no, I have a better it. idea. Okay. I shall inform my brothers that I have brewed the tea of wisdom from the mushroom of ages I have gathered in the caves. I shall drink of the tea and offer to release my spirit so that it can impart the wisdom upon my brothers. That is when you come in. Well, come out. All right. And impart your wisdom. I will impart my wisdom. <laughs> I have a feeling. Brother Headwind and Brother Monsoon might actually believe you. How do you get people to help you? You prank them. Yes. <sighs> I'm his brother Sandstorm. Play the music. In bard culture, this is considered a great move. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna ever see bard culture again around the others. Well, well, come along, come along, come along. And he well, gets you into the, like, all of the attachments to the temple buildings that they have, which are a lot more human-sized and manageable, and seems to be like new people arrive, they build the room for themselves, and something got destroyed, something got repaired, somebody died, somebody moved in, and they've got a hodgepodge of a temple. Uh, but he does bring you to a so-called mess hall, which is like a room with a relatively big table. And you see a few other monks with similarly like robes and heavy clothes and like various symbols of uh, wind and stars and sky and sun and moon upon their robes uh, gathering about. Uh, a lot of them are fairly old though quite a few of them do seem to be in their 30s, 40s. Uh, there is a pretty a muscular gentleman uh, who walks around only in pantaloons. Uh, very muscular. Have I mentioned his muscles yet? <laughs> they are very. Um, but yeah, they kind of well, take their places and. Uh, what's his name? In, in, in most. A mistral kind of tells them. Um, good evening, brothers. Today we have guests. They've come here to talk to our eerie friends and to praise the sun. They also bring uh, biscuits and what's. Now, if um, you would take your places and uh, brothers of fear, if you would impart the grace of your God upon us. And see one of the monk kind of like take out the holy symbol and do a short prayer and go nom nom, uh, om nom nom. And then there's suddenly a poof and food appears on everybody's plate. Including whatever they give to you. Cast a spell. Yeah, I would like to. It smells of nothing. Does it does it always happen like that? Like when we were back in in Ironforge uh, and we cast create food and water. I think kinda. Okay. It always tastes the same. Like it doesn't it is you nothing. can't imagine. It is nothing? Okay. It tastes like eating water. Well, Condensed water. I wanted to say tofu, but tofu has some taste. Not much, but some taste. Ice, but it's not cold. Actually, I just think tofu has... Well, I would say it's like eating tofu, but I think tofu has very little taste if you don't cook it with something and part taste mm -hmm. upon it. Yeah, it doesn't absorb any. Yeah. 
And what, what there's is water. consistency like? Um, the consistency is palatable. Okay, I just need to know what I'm going to flavor this as. Um, let's say it is the consistency of. Oh, jeez, what is the name of that food? Uh, one moment, I know the Russian word for it. Flan. Jello. Banana. Casserole. Mm. Casserole? Yes. Let me quickly. Oh, dope. I will make mine taste like a nice meat casserole. Wait, do you people eat this when All it day, tastes day. like nothing? Well, occasionally our friends bring us some game. Those are good days. We turn it into jerky. You can suck on that for a while. Okay, I think um, I am about to do you a small favor here. As I quickly read how many of these effects I can have up at the same time. Three. Three. I will just like... Flip my fingers, and the first one will start tasting like a nice apple pie. And the second one will taste like like nice fresh strawberries. And the last one, like bananas or some shit. Like, banana shit? No, bananas. <laughs> no, yeah. not bananas. Suddenly, like, one of the mines goes, This tastes amazing! The other one goes, This tastes... Interesting, that one. This tastes like grass. Which one tastes like... <laughs> who said the one who said grass? Me! <laughs> grass? It's called salad. It's a banana guy. Yes, it tastes like grass. Does it taste like bananas now? Yes, it still tastes like grass. Ancient bananas weren't sweet. Same stuff. I will, I will make it into something with meat. It tastes like meat. And once they have eaten, I will expand the pleasures to the others and have them eat uh, something nice for a change. Yeah, I'll help you out with it. Some meat flavoring. Excellent. OP spell. Steak flavored mushroom. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, where was I? Yes, food. Uh, so you enjoy your you enjoy your food. Some of the monks do eat at a much accelerated pace than the other monks, which allows you to perhaps extend your presentation upon others to eat like this <laughs> at a much slower pace. Uh, but you all eat, and now, brothers, I shall show you this drink I have concocted from the mushroom of smartness that I have found in the caves of enlightenment. All the spirit of wisdom exit me and impart upon the others. I cast, uh, 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 I come swooping in as, uh, what is it, uh, gaseous form. 
Mm -hmm. And I speak to everyone telepathically. Bow down to me, for I am the spirit of the flatulent eminence. I have come to pass <laughs> on my wisdom to you. The oh greatest sin and the purpose of life. <gasps> the purpose of check. life deception check. is farting. Deception check? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, wait. Twelve. <laughs> I would like to... Uh, bend <clears throat> <one bit. laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's a 15 now. Alright. You get like very serious attentive look from all the monks who listen to you attentively. And one of them kind of leans. Brother Mistral involving visitors is cheating. You have not heard my greatest sin. The greatest sin is sharting. If you are surprised by the brown snake sneaking out through your back door, your wisdom is worth nothing. I have ended my message. Farewell. I re retract from the room. <laughs> well, um... So does this happen a lot around here? Every day. <sighs> Occasionally. Occasionally. We do try to... Come up with new things, but after so many years... You know which other and... I remember all the jokes. Brother Chinook, I think this fine, strapping young gentleman in armor wanted to ask about the ritual of the sun. And then I was like a kind of tent uh, monk um, speaks up. Oh yeah, yeah, would you like to praise the sun with me? Um, yeah, I mean, there was me and him, and I went to Damien. I also here for this. I would not say no to brothers in praising the sun. I do try to impart the pleasantry of uh, sun botting to my colleagues over here, but well, look at their pale faces. I guess no one takes it up. No, I say it's the cold. Would you like to catch the early morning sun? Uh, whichever is best, I guess. Well, depends on how easy your skin burn. I guess it burns pretty easily. So yeah, the early morning or the late... Alright. Well, then join me tomorrow at sundown. Rise, rise. Okay, is this what we were talking about, Damien? I have no idea, but it sounds exciting. Also, uh, brother Chinook, is that how you said? Yes, 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 that is me. Um, Chinook. I have this um weapon here, more of a companion, um, called Sun Warrior. And, uh, may I show it to you? <laughs> that sounds very appropriate to fellow Sunflower, yes. Mm -hmm. And I take it out and I... Well, it's, it's been seven days, so now I can light it up, right? Oh, shiny. I look at Damien. <laughs> I'm like, I have... Internally, I'm saying, I have a bad feeling this isn't going to do anything. <laughs> And take a look. Yeah. Uh, I stay close to him. Yeah, big stuff. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now, the runes on the blade definitely correspond to certain depictions of heliocentric deities, although this one is not indigenous to the people I have usually met. Very good condition, good shape, well balanced, sharp. Oh, change it to a, to a short sword. Oh, that's... Oh, the runes on the blade change. I suppose... Can you do it back again? Yes, change it back. <laughs> oh. I suppose this sigil corresponds to the shape of the date, and this one is not changing, it's for the sun. Hmm, hmm. This is really nice. Have you learned anything? I have no idea what those runes say. Damien goes. Oh, perhaps this will help. And his shield. The guy picks it up. Oh. 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 Hmm. 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 You liked it. <laughs> Hmm, 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 the symbols on the shield seem to match the one on your spear. Is it part of the same set? Yes. I think I... Wait over here. He runs away. He runs away? Yes. Okay. Uh, would, you like take it? All zero <laughs> would you like to take <laughs> an attack opportunity? Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> what about others? Anything you want to do? Hmm. I'm just chilling, waiting on bird people. Uh, yep, I'm just uh, hanging out. Do you want to join us to sunbathe tomorrow? Morning? I'm there. Mm, I don't to sleep in. The monk comes back like 10 minutes later, carrying like a bunch of scrolls. Alright, um, I think I've seen this somewhere in... Not quite... Long some God... No... Oh, here! Yes, 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 there's mentioning of this. This, this... Doge, TG... Does... I have always been wondering how you read this. Um, perhaps you would have an easier job than I do? It shows you a word. Did, did you post it? Yes, in Discord. Oh. Does this book? Hmm. I guess this is one way to read it. Well, anyway, yes, there is mentioning of the things that you hold. The spear and the shield. Apparently we are supposed to bring the shield under the Zenith Sun of the mountain that is closest to the sky. And let the light gather and shine upon the one who wishes to be one with the sun for them to bathe in. Though strong of spirit and powerful of body will find themselves enlightened. Those with darkness in their heart And weakness in their bones shall perish, cleansed in the light. Sounds dangerous. It does. But it's only for one per it mentions it's only for one person? Well, it mentions that the shield is necessary to create the um, 
sun ray for this ritual. I suppose many people could go into it, though I have a feeling not many will exit. Hmm. All right. Let's try it. Would you still wish to join me for the sunrise sun blessing? Yeah, it's a good so, practice. Then let us gather here. Please come. Uh, disrobed, I'll bring the, the oil. Oh, uh, she she probably wants to join us too, and I went to the door. I don't think that would be appropriate. Oh. Alright, all right. that's fine. Uh, no offense meant, but... Nah, none taken, it's alright. It's just that a lot of us have spent a lot of time on this mountain and tend to do so. Alrighty. Oh. Have fun, love, and she gives him a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll go see if I can find something else. I think I saw it in some house, and he runs away again. Um, can you uh, send me what he read from the scroll? Uh, no, I can't. You don't have it, you don't I, have it written I down? I don't have it written down, no. Okay, never mind then. I just write it down as sun worshipping Mamba Jamba. Sure. Most I can involve constitution saying those. Mm-hmm. And with them saying toast. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yep. Uh Mr. Will approaches you once again. Oh well, have you found uh, knowledge you seek? It seems that way. Oh uh, good, good, good. Oh, will you be speaking to the bird people today or tomorrow? Um, I guess today, if it's possible. Whenever they have time, yeah. That sounds awesome. Well, uh, for starters, we should stop calling them bird people. Their correct name is Arakokra. Arakokra. Oh. Yes. The ones that are banned because they're OP. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, they do all pee, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even go there? <laughs> they also defecate, yes. <laughs> very, very interesting, very interesting. yes. So when can we meet uh, these defecating autocrats? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that also pee. <laughs> Let me sign my calling gong, and they shall answer eventually. Go back into the main like temple room and he walks up to the largest gong at the end of the altar. And he goes You might want to close your ears. Boom 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 Sound not so much loud as vibrating. Penetrating your body feels like your bones themselves vibrate. This is a tickling gong a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> And that's, uh, mm -hmm. well, let us await. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he 
sits down, sits down and closes his eyes. Bom. Okay. Sits like that for about a minute. <laughs> and now what? How is it going down there? Pretty awful. Oh, awesome. <laughs> just splendid. Life down there is just splendid. On the verge of a total destruction. Yep. Take a deception check and a persuasion check. Either? Like. No, one of, like one of you is blank, one of you is not. You can make a persuasion check and I can make a deception check. I'm trying to be very obvious about this, but... Uh, You're welcome to I make a disadvantage. Like... Huh? You're welcome to make it a disadvantage. Okay. <clears throat> I see. Uh, you must be from different countries. Oh no. Oh, well, technically, yes, but no, we're talking about the same thing, I'm just being ironic. Oh. It's not so good down there right now. Irony, yes. Yeah, you might want to start implying that, maybe that could... Oh, we tried instead that! Of Arch, instead uh, of Arch, we killed the guy. Oh, mm-hmm, yeah. Not sure how you get there, but okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dif different question. continue! You can continue to employ irony with people you're locked in D47 for a couple of years and see where that gets you. Sure. Ah, I see you have begun. Mm hmm. No, that is sarcasm. But that was sarcasm as well. Mm. Okay. Um, well, you could say right. that his sarcasm has created quite a sarcasm yeah. between us. <laughs> yes. Different question. I heard it one hundred. The, ma <laughs> the magic we used when yes. to breeze up here. It is. Uh, how long does it last? Uh, Twenty-four hours. How many people can I affect at once? A score of people. A what? A score. A score? Is that... Is that uh, a half one? a score. I don't know what a score is up here. A dozen minus two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, yes. Okay, yes, ten. <laughs> ten. A baker okay, dozen? No, that's good, that's good. Um, a different question. Uh, have you ever been to the elemental plane of air? Oh, no, no, I... Uh, Do I you think never you... mastered the flying magic, no. But some of you who are here went there? Yes, yes, yes. Did they... Do you yes. all need the magic to breeze up here, oh, over there? Well, in places. Um, uh, a plane of air has air of all kind. Um, I am made it as a joke, but there are clouds of farts in there too. Of smoke and dust and ash and steam and all other kinds of air you can come up with, because you know, farce is air too. And yeah, it won't kill you. Well, some of it can kill you, uh, but this magic makes most air breathable, yes. <laughs> is it possible Everyone... more long term? Actually, learn the spell? Uh, yeah, you can remember it and use it. Uh, we call the Arcanum of Aerial Adaptation. Uh, but it's not patented, so you can call it whatever. Uh, a, a visitor of ours has called it an easy breeze spell. 
like that one better. Is there some place where Zardos could learn of it? Uh, learn how to... If you have a copy, because... maybe I could... Because it's one thing to use a pre-written sigil, it's a completely different one to cast independently, and I don't think I would be able to do that. Oh, you can start with a sigil and learn from it. Okay. I'll... Yeah, I'm not. If you can point point me to one, I'll do that then. Oh, just a uh, couple thousand steps down the mountain and you should <laughs> find it. I thought you guys had a few up here. I would, we remember them. Yeah. Well, you don't have any written form? I could write one for it you. From scripture of it? Oh, I am somewhat of a wizard myself. Yeah. Mm, it's I mean... a staff, actually. What was it? It's a staff, actually. Mm -hmm. No. Of thunder and lightning. Hmm. Occasionally. On a good day. On a good day. You have charged it. A staff of thunder and lightning? Yes. Huh. That sounds really interesting. It does? Sectrifying. Could we see it? Uh, you are seeing it in my hands. Oh. Hmm. I know a little bit of lightning and thunder magic myself. Gosh, um, it's <laughs> convenient. Yeah, it is. Um. Is there certain spells that you're able to cast with that? Yes, I have impaired some of my spells into this stuff, yes. Awesome. Um, okay then. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'll go back. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. She used to be the lightning goddess, I think. Oh. Of course she did, yes. <laughs> no, I just find lightning magic very interesting. Well, if you would like to hear more, I'm sure I could tell you things. Sure, I I don't want to impose, though. I don't want to be a... Oh, I haven't heard anybody listen to me in the last ten years. Please, by all means, I'm more than more than interested to. Huh? Well, that's a big mistake you made because he departs on a very long and very arcanic uh, lecture about the nature of thunder and lightning in magic. I would like to leave the room. And the ways yeah. to impart it upon the item and how the shape and material of the items can assist in shaping and directing the uh, magic. The creation of the arcane forces, the charging of them, the concept of catching a lightning in a bottle, the death of his dear friend and attempt to do the same, and kind of a lot, a lot, a lot of sidetracking, including the stories of him and his good dear, the tortoise friend, in attempts to study and master the flight. How you kill Lucas yet? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. Alright. He's currently making death saving throws. Um, anyway. Somewhere in the middle of that lecture, you hear the fluttering of large wings. And then a clacking of hard material against wood. As into one of the high windows of the temple, you see a, a creature that is... Humanoid and bipedal in its stature, but with the head of a bird of prey and humongous uh, spotted wings upon its back, 
enter into this room and glide to the floor, uh, to the level of you and uh, Brother Maelstrom. You see that the creature has very light clothes, just enough to cover its decency, but I think movement is tricking some pouches on its belt. It holds a spear in its hand that it kind of uses to assist it in walking. It doesn't seem to be very graceful when walking, for its legs are uh, clawed and aerial and, um, well, not good for grasping things, but not good for walking on things. Um, but sure you all know how an Aarakocra looks like, but for those who don't, uh, just a bit of visual descriptor and it walks up to Maelstrom and like it speaks and it speaks in like this weird way where it opens its beak and doesn't move it and then the sound just comes out of it and uh, none of you understand what they say is it... Actually, you do. Elius is the only one who understands. But I'm in like the next room. Yeah. So they are did... not speaking primordial. No. Okay. Uh, and you know, basically, I hear them say, like, hello, friend, uh, Mistral. Well, why have you called us? And he responds to them. Oh, um, um. Uh, would you mind if we switch to Oran? Some of these fine gentlemen speak the language. And then he switches to Primordial to the Oran, and you uh, are the source of stuff understanding it. And he basically goes, um, So, these people wanted to talk to you about. about. Uh, switches to Common. Uh, what did you want to talk to them Plain about exactly? Air. I will respond in primordial, the plane of air. Uh, uh, you can take a step back. The creature kind of like looks sideways at you, like one eye pointed to you, and speaks to you. Speak. We listen. We are um, planning to travel the plane of air. We are looking for a path to the Frostfell. But obviously, we do not know enough about the plane of air at all, let alone the past there. And we were wondering if you know anything um, of places one might go to look for things. Where creatures live, someone who could guide us. Thank you, Mr. Jack. Okay, please no dice. Hmm. Was it your roll? 17? Yeah, yeah 17. 17. Alright. Uh, Alright, because I can get Looks at you. We know it, but that is our home. We could bring you to our master. If he judges you worthy, then perhaps he will. Um, forward, grant a guide upon you. That sounds lovely. Yes. Meanwhile, Trigger's picking his nose. I would. Deep, we would deeply appreciate that. He kind of gives not like sideways look at all of you. <clears throat> Are any of you capable of unassisted flight? Yes, me. Turns towards you. Speaks to you. Are you capable of carrying your friends? Uh, out of character, am I? Not all of them, I assume. Yes. Well, you can carry four people. Okay, so if we leave away Pitrick... I mean, Damon has no intention to go to the airplane with you. Yeah. Okay. 
So it's only one too many. And that's not... But we... Uh, would a carpet work if we use some sort of magic item to uh, fly? The Arcaco says, yes, we are aware of such objects. Our master then, possesses a few. Then we can all fly. No, oh, he's the only one that can do it unassisted. Yeah. Though not quite. And I like pointed Melora and I quickly switched to common uh, just for her. She can also fly unass unassisted from what I was aware and I will repeat the same to him. In uh, or, or in Primordial one more time. The Grish nods and says Our portal is a half an hour's flight from our master's palace. If you can last that long, and that is good. It kind of switches the side of the head and tells them. I must warn you, if there is deceit in your heart, you'll find only death in the house of our master. Okay, yeah, sounds... Thank you for the warning, it's appreciated. But we don't have any intention of deceiving you. We're just looking for a path to the first fell. Yeah. That's all. It's and the questions you want to ask, Bob's we will its head and opens its mouth once again. It is a long flight to the frost fell. A very long flight. Yes. We have something for that too, but it'll take a little bit longer. Not its head. When were you willing to depart? Um, to your master or in general? Were there other places you intended to go? Um, I think my friend over there and I point over to Trego is uh, planning on looking at the sun tomorrow at from the peak. That is a pleasant activity, we understand. Yes, but we could um, visit your master right now and come back. Switches to or we could go that tomorrow, would whatever be you prefer. That would be what? Complicated? Complicated. Yes, we can wait on it. That uh, works fine for us. We're just grateful for the opportunity. Then I shall return for you tomorrow. Sometime in the afternoon? Late afternoon, something like that? Sometime Probably. in the afternoon. Thank you very much. It nods, looks at uh, Mistral, says something to him, well, basically, you just understand it, it's basically like a goodbye in whatever other languages I speak. And kind of like, not flies, but like glide jumps upwards to reach the opening, steps through it, you just see him disappearing outside. <laughs> well, so no lying tomorrow then. I mean... Oh, is that what he that said? To lie about? Hmm? He was basically saying that he has a, they have a master and um, we should speak to him tomorrow. And depending on how, what kind of impression we make on the master, he might give us a guide for hmm. our journey. Why did you point at me? Because I said we can't leave immediately. Oh, okay. Because you uh, wanted to. No, because you trick as the worst liar of us all. <laughs> Bask in the no, that's not true. <laughs> Bask in the glory of the sun. The best lie is the truth. Uh, no. no. Makes me the best liar ever. You hear that from Cerulius, or where do you get that from? Myself. Sounds like I just came up with it. The, the, the best lie is the best lie. Which is the truth. No. A mistral looks up. Mm, I know this game. The best lie is a lie untold. Mm, interesting. Which is? The best lie is the best lie plus one. 
The best lie is always based on a truth. No, Just that doesn't based... sound wise. <laughs> well, it has worked in my business for. Oh, it works. It is true. It just doesn't sound wise. I thought we were playing the make a wise saying on the spot kind of game. No. No. Oh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of we don't play it anymore. We all like it's always a draw. Oh yeah, yeah. I bet you you will kick our asses in that game. I just thought about something. Um question to the dm is there any like paper or ink around that i could do a drawing um i mean i'm pretty sure, sure others has some yeah. all right uh can i borrow some a page real sure yes. all right and once he gives that to me before um brother my Ma maelstrom is it maelstrom how you a mistral Mistral. Well, you different know, wind. Brother Maelstrom is... Actually, he has been dead, dead for half a century. Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, it's um, fine. He know... died like he lived. Actually, no, he died falling off a cliff, but... <laughs> anyway, oh. you're asking. <laughs> you know quite a bit about thunder and lightning. I'm just curious. And she shows him the doodle she did of the mark that's on her chest. Have you ever seen something like um, uh, Yes. I think that is there's some kind of food. No? Uh, I don't think so. But that's okay. Thank you. Does kind of look windy. Now a spiral is a common symbol for a maelstrom, also for whirlpools, and you know those cakes when you twirl them around. Oh yeah, I think I know what you're referring. <laughs> <clears throat> That gives me a little bit of a more of a lead thing. <laughs> Can I show them how you can strike yourself with lightning without an effect? Um, what was it? The, the, um... Miliki has lied. You're not a goddess of lightning. You're a goddess of cake. I will happily accept that title. <laughs> Your goddess is hungry. Feed me more cake. Anyway. Um. But yeah, she's gonna look at Trigo when he says that, like, not inside, dear. We'll wait until we're outside. I've also never seen it, but does it glow when you strike yourself with lightning? Uh, that would be hmm. highly inappropriate. I want to say yes, it does. It does. It does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Hey, honey, wanna go outside and watch me strike myself with lightning? Well, to be fair, I've never struck <laughs> myself with lightning topless, so I, I don't think I've seen it. Am I not enough? <laughs> you didn't um, give her quite the right buzz. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> anyway. What's the next stupid thing you guys are gonna go to do? Oh, wait. Well, in that case, you... I mean, it has been getting pretty late as we were talking and having food and talking some more. So, the sun comes down pretty late because it's high up uh, and you are welcome to go outside and observe one of the most beautiful sunsets you have ever seen in your life. The sun sets down, the stars come out, and the sky is beautiful, clear and pure like you have never seen before. You are offered, basically, like, if you find a place to sleep, an empty room, take it. No promise that there's gonna be any sleeping accommodations there. Because, no, they don't have visitors. 
like almost ever. Uh, but carpet. You are welcome to figure it out. I'm just gonna s sleep in that one room where I fit in. I'm sleeping on the carpet. And any other things you guys wanna talk about accommodation wise? Um, well, I'm just you know, sleeping in that room, entryway, whatever it was. Um, somewhere at the end of it all, PJ kind of finds you, Leos, and goes, I am afraid I have been cut out of the conversation. Oh, I Would you like to summarize it for me? Yeah, okay. Um, tomorrow, you Trego will don't either... have to say that, so if okay. you don't want. Yeah, yeah, I will give it, give him the gist of it. Is that a common behavior for your group? Uh, well, I guess. I don't know. That sounds reckless. Um, well, it kind of is, but... Um, so far, we have been very reckless in our approach. And you uh, have not died, yes. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. we died a lot, quite a few times already, but... Yet you persist. <sighs> Yet we persist, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess the gods favor us in some way or another, or at least some of them. I mean, May I you luck back. never run out. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh. What about... Um, no, I oh. have never died before. Oh, that's good. It tends to be a singular event in our lives. Hmm. I really wonder how things would have gone. Or how things would have gone over if that would be the case for us as well. I mean, the only fight that we really, I would say, lost is the one against uh, Saeed Nevek. <clears throat> I have Despite. heard about him from the Red Lady. Very knowledgeable that one. Probably the no most knowledgeable of all that live on this plane of existence. I was very surprised to find someone who remembers so much about my kin after all these years. Yeah. She might be one of the only few. I think some more elves may remember, but... Here's the thing, they, it's very hard for us to come uh, to get some more information on this because there seem to have been some sort of oath to not speak about. Yes, a great Gies. Gies. Gish. 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 Yeah. So, does your he head explode if you, if you break that spell? Or is it just something you can't do? Um, what I have heard, it has been cast by our... It is... Um, it's hard to translate the word he uses into common example, but... Uh, let's say progenitor. Uh, Grukelora, Gran. Hmm. Yeah. Well, and he doesn't say cast, he says it has been spoken by Al hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 definitely <laughs> hoping that we can find out more at some point, but only if it's if it's not asking too much. We are on a quest. Reach my home. 
Yes. Let us not perish on the way. Yeah, never. That would be anticlimactic. <laughs> that is a good word for that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's reach the end. That's a good... That's a good uh, goal. Is there anything you miss from... From your home? Yes. Maybe except for the company? Understanding the conversations. <laughs> oh, yeah. And my family. Hmm. Do you have kids? Yes. Oh, how many? I have two sons and a daughter. She two has sons and a hatched three years ago. Oh man, she must be so little. We grow quick. But hmm. she is my little one. <laughs> That's nice. Well, we're gonna reunite you with your family at some point. I'm sure. <laughs> but tomorrow we shall let Trego bathe in the sun first. And then we shall cast his ashes. Nah, nah, he will survive. If one can take a sunburn, it's probably Trego. He... We he shall it. observe. Uh, we shall witness his... <laughs> witness me! <laughs> no, he will, he will do great. I'm pretty sure of it. I think, I think, I think the world needs more light. And I think that's why he can't fail. There has been a rise of darkness as of late. And it's time for the balance to be restored. Many believe themselves to be the light. They all have failed. Mm. Those I'm not who sure. are the light don't think of themselves as such. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if Trago thinks of him as the light. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, I shall visit him and glare at him judgingly. <laughs> oh, one company, we can just both stare at him and talk in draconic about him. I am not certain you could enter his room. Oh, yeah, right. Rooms, doors. Mm. We could gas it up. But then you will not possess the stair. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. All right, you go stair. I'll chill here. Uh, meanwhile, Trigger. Demon goes. So, are we doing this? I mean, we came all this way. I'm just gonna say, put it out there, I have offered you to do that, you are not obliged, you do not have to, and I have a feeling if you fail, you may die. Wait, are you not, are you not trying it too? Of course not, I'm not strong enough, no, I am too unready to stand in the light, no. You, I don't think you will burn. And I don't uh, think you have the seed in your heart. Well, uh, thank you for your encouragement, but I'm serious. Because, you know, if you give it up, you can try again. And if you don't give it up and you die, well, you'll seen how fun the resurrection is recently yeah oh you know if it's too much it's it's okay to give up it's okay to give up occasionally you know i know it's a bit reckless but 
Oh no, we couldn't. I couldn't defeat Satan of Earth. In the end, it was like just. That wasn't enough. I gotta get stronger. You did get stronger. Yeah. But, I don't know. It's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. But then again, I'm going into my death. Perhaps, maybe. So, that's not so safe. Hmm. Well, I don't I'm just saying, if it's too much, just, no. Don't do it anymore. No. I'll remember that. Alright. Um, by the way, I didn't want to interrupt the conversation, but... Do you think he's gonna keep doing that for the whole night? Maybe. <laughs> just the picture in the doorway staring at you. Uh, do you wanna speak, Pidrick? Pidrick looks at you for a moment longer, goes... Hmm. And just walks away, head down. I don't think he does, he does want to speak. Okay, it's a strange guy, dragon person thing. Oh, came from a different world. Yeah, tell me about that. Well, I'm sure you need your sleep. I don't need my sleep, so I'm gonna go sit in the corner. Uh... Good night. Yes. It leaves you alone with your devices. Mm -hmm. They go to Melora. Okay. So, uh, honey? Like, should I do this? Hmm. <laughs> Not trying to sound smart, but why would you have second? Well, they did say that I might die. Yeah, if you're not, what was it, pure heart? But, sorry, honey, yeah. you're, sorry, didn't he say something about it if you weren't pure of heart or pure of spirit? Yeah, but Damien is also pure of heart and pure of spirit. He said, though, he doesn't. No, it was pure of heart and strong of body. And strong of body, yeah. <laughs> He's not strong of body, he has no body. He has eyes. <laughs> Draco, out of everybody I've ever met, you, or have met, I'm sorry, you are probably the most purest of souls that I've ever seen, or met. And obviously you're very if no, you had pure. any, no, but that's not. I don't know. I just you know it worries me. If you have any doubt, then I support your decision to not do it. You know I support any decision that you choose, and I don't want anything to happen to you. Obviously, I don't. But, I don't know, I guess if it were me, I would take the chance, but honestly, this is your call. If, and judging by what they say, if you feel any doubt, any doubt at all with it, then no, don't. No, thanks. Oh. Sleep on it. It's good to know that you would take the chance. I would, if it meant anything to be able to help you all, of course. But, again, the, 
this is a choice for you. And just know we'll all have your back no matter what you decide. If you decide not to go through with it, if you do, we'll all be there to support you for it. Yeah, you don't think Arliss and Leos and Zardis will all call me like sissy, uh, weekly, Shani, <laughs> yelling, come on, yes. <laughs> I mean, you know how they would. They would do it in jest, but I don't think they'd mean anything by it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if they heard it from across the... Listen to your second wife, dear. She knows. <laughs> Listen to your second wife. Hello. <laughs> Not yet. Soon. Uh... But, I mean, I honestly don't see any, I don't see how anything's going to go wrong with this. I think, me personally, I think that prophecy is describing you to a t Thanks, dear. But, you know... I don't think myself is that, you know, a yeah, prophecy or whatever, but it's episode. nice to hear it. Stupid mountain bikers. <laughs> Damn, all these bikers. Well, sometimes you do, you you should hear it because I I think you're wonderful and I know we just have more faith in yourself with it. I just embrace her and kiss her. Like, shut up. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Was your body? <laughs> uh, all right. So that happens. I assume the rest of you kind of try to sleep. Leo's, I guess, is sleeping in kin form in the main temple. It's very uncomfortable, very cold. Um, but you have very little choice. Yeah, before we go to sleep, we'll just, like, so you guys think I should head down and uh, go copy that spell for later? It's in the morning or Speaking we'll of have which, three. how is Zardo sleeping? That's what I got the, uh, the coffee yeah. for. You do. Do you, like, call this candy on your back? As much as possible, since I can't really put it in the... In mm. the bag, so... Alright, alright. So you are constantly carrying, carrying a coffin on your back. Good to know, good to know, good to Until know. Until further notice, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. That's gonna be a problem when you're gonna try to get in the doors. Um, anyway, um, where was we? Yeah, you were saying before you something, something. Sorry, I interrupted you. Okay? Yeah. You guys think I should go get that spell? Right. Yeah, sure. You do you do have to explain to him again what you want and why you can't go a couple thousand steps down and that he would like for him to draw it to you. Uh but he does draw it for you. Huh. Okay, that works. Then yeah, well I guess I'll do a little time before the bed and then continue in the morning since it's already pretty late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that it's the third level? Yes. Arcanum yeah. of Aerial Adaptability. It'll take a little while. Just call it air breathing instead of water breathing. It's okay. It, it can't be a spell of air breathing because everything is a spell of air breathing. No, it's, it's like that it's, it's character from Heroes of the Storm. What's her name? The priestess? No, 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 no. Oh, the daughter of the yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. Go find uh, the picture for Jay. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll find her. Um. Where were we? Okay, yeah, you do that. Anybody else wanted to do something before going to sleep? No. All right. 
in that case you have a nice rest, you recover your stuff, it's not very comfortable rest because it's still chilly, uh, but it is rest and you wake up in the morning of the 7th of February, uh, Utrega, as a gentle knocking of the door uh, informs you of the arrival of Brother Chinook, who has a jug in his hand and asks you if you still intend to join him for the morning ritual. Mm -hmm. yes. right. um, cool. He does inform you that if you intend to join him fully, then uh, you are welcome to leave your robes in your room, and he has a, um, a backup robe for you, okay. and also asks if you know where your friend, the other one who wanted to bask in the sun, dwells. I think he... I think he uh, uh, changed his mind on that. Hmm. That is that is that is that is that is that is disappointing, but well, um, no time waiting. Let us proceed, and so you proceed to the outside of the temple, into the chilly, chilly morning on the side of a mountain, eight kilometers up in the air. Whereupon brings you to a certain outcrop, and disrobes, completely. And begins applying sunblock to himself. Well, it's more like oil than sunblock. As his muscles begin to glisten in the sun. And then he passes on the jug to you. Would you like to oil yourself up? Yeah, I have to try to imitate him as much as I could. Right. Well, basically you are like the ancient Olympiad. Like it was meant to be. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. And he just opens himself to the sun and occasionally makes some uh, praying sounding sounds. Honestly, it just feels incredibly cold to you. And whatever sunlight reaches your skin just does not seem to be nearly enough to warm you up. So please make me guess intuition saying so. And while he's doing that, I'll continue copying the spell. You last for about half an hour. Before that's you, uh, yeah, that's, that's that's a lot, a lot. Before you feel that if you last a little bit longer, uh, any dream of uh, having little kids of your own will be shattered. Okay. <laughs> So you uh, make an excuse, I guess, to Brother Chinook mm -hmm. and retreat into the warmth, relative warmth of the temple. Uh, he does tell you that he will await you at noon for the proper ritual. Okay. I, uh, I go to Arliss and I ask him to press the titation all this oil off of me, please. Uh, he can't. You can uh, unsoil really? only an object. You are not an object. Oh, I didn't know that. You can't clean up things? You can clean clothes. He cannot clean you. Okay. Any showers here? Ask... Uh, uh, nope. If you, use your, if you just use your own clothes and um, just put it all into the clothes, I can get it out of the clothes afterwards. I guess. We could use also the decanter and the spotter as a shower. I was just gonna suggest that too. <laughs> Says the, me down. says the buck naked oil smothered shrego. I've seen worse, you know. I mean, to be fair, pretty much anyone would be worse compared to him, yes? So that's what I mean. <laughs> uh, well, let's say you find a way to clean Treg up. Which most likely involves the usage of the cantor and this water and a lot of uncomfortable uh, moments for you, Trigger. 
for decanter of endless water plus outside plus eight kilometers above ground mountain wind. Make me another constitution saving throw. Oh fuck! Right. Oh. Well, luckily for you, you can't get a pneumonia. Epithelia. So you don't get it. Pneumonia. But you take eight. Po oh no, eight. Five points of cold damage in the process. Which would kill most people. Five points? Don't yes. they have ten commoners? Four. Four? Okay. Yes. Most commoners die from a dagger stab. Yeah. Damn. No way. Uh, but then you go in, dry up, get out of the stupid digitator closes to warm yourself up. That's all good. Anything I'll else that you, you guys want to do in the morning? Yes, I'll heal those four points up because I feel I'm going to need them. Uh, five. I'll heal them up with the uh, lay on hands. All right. Um, others, what do you want to do? Yeah, I'll take the carpet for a ride uh, for a ride around this side of the mountain. You know, just to get a nice view of the surrounding area, huh? see how far I can see. That kind of shit. You can Enjoy see the view. very far. Enjoy the view. You can recognize like. The general layout, as you can see, like the ocean and like, you can recognize the mountains that Nebo stands upon, but the rest is just like you can see, like maybe like greenery somewhere or something. You can see Mount Paratheus, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, in that case, let's go to Noon, whereupon uh, Brother Chinook. Those to collect you, Trigger, and Damien once again. Damien seems to have spent uh, some time uh, further polishing his shield. It seems to have been impossible, but he has managed to buff it up even more. Alright, big day, yeah? Yeah. S day, it's a Sunday. Alright, you can do this. Let's go. Sunday. Let's go. And uh, would the rest of you like to join them outside? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, Definitely. Alright. Uh, okay. So you go outside and you uh, start climbing up the mountain. And I do mean climbing. There is no path anymore. The path ends at the temple. Wherever the Arakokra dwell, they get there by flying. Yeah, I step on the carpet. I fly upwards but head fa uh, head facing down <laughs> all disasters <others. laughs> uh i'll ask you know how long it does this take or should it take oh well depends on how lucky we are it's not falling to our deaths uh, half an hour maybe climbing i don't know mm. okay i will just Walk oh, up the wall. Yeah. And I'll shape shift. Yeah. Just I'll about I'll shape shift. Okay. Sorry. So basically, everybody except Trevor and Chinook and Damien uh, find a way to fly. Well, the three of you. you know, uh, you need to make it a real challenge for the person, for the people who are undertaking. I made to suffer. I put the shield of Aldana on my back just for backup. <laughs> right. uh... Okay, uh, make me an aesthetics check. I'm good with those. I'm supposed to be. You fine, are. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, Pidgeot has decided to save this one out. Um... Yeah, he went low. Oh, more like. This yesterday. Nobody got to went to collect him, everybody forgot about him, so he is currently in the temple wondering where everybody went. <laughs> let's go with that. Uh, but okay, yeah, sure, that, that that's good enough. And let's see Brother Chinook, he's a fairly strong one. He seems to Oh wow! Oh boy! He's like a mountain goat, Trigger! He does better than you! It seems he has done this accent, ascent multiple times, most likely in an attempt to find a better some buzzing spot. 
Um, but you actually don't even spend the whole half an hour, it seems he was accounting for like you guys not being used to this. But you do make it in like 20 minutes. And reach... Not the peak of the mountain, that one seems not really reachable. Uh, but you do get like an outcropping a couple hundred meters above of the temple. Uh, and... It looks like takes out like his book and says, I've... Like, it just shouts because of the wind. I'm not gonna shout, but pretend I'm shouting. Like, I've written down some parts of the ritual that I have found in the other scrolls. So, uh, we are supposed to catch the sun with the shield and uh, speak the following words. He gives you the following words. And something's supposed to happen. And then you must stand in the light. <coughs> and endure it for a minute. If you endure it, you will be filled with the power of the sun. If you don't, um, you will be... I'm not certain it's specific, but this word sounds really bad by the power of the sun. So, um, let's hope you can stop midway. I'm not a healer. No, but she is. Um, okay. Um, we have like 20 minutes before... The Zenith, I got us here early, so actually even more, because we got up here quickly, so half an hour. So if you want to say something to each other, like, give a hug, I'm just gonna turn around, you do your thing. Um, Should I put Death Ward on myself? I think I'm gonna put Death Ward on myself. That sounds like a good idea, it'll yeah. save you from dying at least once. Uh, good luck. <laughs> well, I don't have inspiration for you today because I'm a Kieran. <laughs> so all I can do is... <laughs> there you go. That was a very good Kieran. Uh, words. <laughs> Alright. Um. Um, I'm gonna... Well, Melora's gonna hug Trego tightly and say, you got this, hun. And if I can, I'm going to cast Protection from Energy on him. Right. And for five. Right. Right. You spent a bit of time waiting, watching the sun rise to the zenith. A bit before that, Damien kind of like gets on the spot, starts kind of like trying to catch the sun and direct it towards like the edge of the outcrop like and as the sun rises we see as the shield fills up with the light and Damon goes ah uh, you know I haven't really told you before but I have this move with my shield where I like blast the light beam it's really powerful mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's gonna be close to that so Strap yourself in! I think we're getting close. And can I correct it a little bit? Do you go and stand in the light? Right? Well, for now, it's just very bright and... I mean, it does make you slightly warmer than the... You know, I cannot check messages in Discord. If you want to write something that you want me to read right now, write me in Pro20. Yeah, that's why um, so, um, but it is hopeful, or at least that's what you're used to associating light with. So you strap yourself in and wait as Damien repeats the word he was taught by Chinook. And you see the beam of light strikes the shield, focus to a pinpoint, and strike you, Trigger. I need you to make me a constitution saying now. Let's 
Let's start strong. Yes, yes, yes. All right. <laughs> I also started strong. So you take 10 half to 5 points of radiant damage as you feel the burn upon your chest. I need you to make a constitution saying throw and a wisdom saying throw for me. I would like to use inspiration on that one. My inspiration. Oh, go ahead. So I'm gonna use it up. My can I be racist now joke is off. Good, 17. And the wisdom? 17. Alright. You take half of that, 4 points of radiant damage. Please do two more, one of each. Ooh. Nice. Nice. You take half of this, eight points of radiant damage. Please go on. As you watch the beam intensify and grow in size. Okay. Um. So this is gonna be... Okay, let me just roll. Uh... So 12? Four, 12... Uh, six, 18 points of random damage. 18? Yes. Please go on. I would like to bend luck the wisdom save. Right. Do what do I do? You don't do anything. I do this. It's an eighteen on the wisdom save. Alright. So you take half of that, which is fourteen points of radiant damage. Please go on. If you wish. I pressed, you I pressed it. Yeah, okay. Alright. I pressed it, but it takes time for it to. Alright, right, man! Jeez, stop shouting at me! <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay. You take half of that, so 14 again. Would you like to continue? Yep. Let's go on. Uh, one constitution, one wisdom. Thank God. Uh, you already rolled like wisdom. Hmm? You already rolled wisdom. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. I'm good. Okay. Um. Second. So this is gonna be 27 points of radiant damage. 27? Yes. Wait. Oh. No, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Uh, no, wait. Wrong mass. Um, no, wait. No, yes, 27. 27, yes. 27? Okay. Yes. I confused myself, and I almost hurt myself in my confusion. Would you like to go on? Uh, can I use Lone Hands? Yes. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna use all of it. Go for it. Can I cast Mask Q Wounds on him? Uh, no. Uh, did we... Okay. Okay, used up all my land hands. Uh, yeah, another wisdom save, another constitution save. Shit, another wisdom save. Also shit. That's not salvageable. <laughs> Thirty-eight points of red and damage. Would you like to go on? 
Yep. One constitution, one wisdom. Can I roll I would higher? Like, I would like to bend uh, luck the wisdom save. 18. 53 points of radiant damage. Yeah, wasn't high enough. 19. One, two, three, and 11 minus 5 is 6. Oh, wait, what the? Did you fuck up your hit points? No, no. We really should have dragged your. Apparently, uh, pressing Control and six opens a new tab in the in the Chrome or something. We should have dragged um, your token on the map for reference. Would you like to go on? Uh, yeah. Here, I'll drag it. Oh, did, did you already drag it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I did. Uh, I am going to. Can I cast spells on myself? You can. I can. Okay. I'm gonna cast. Uh, cure wounds on a third level. On a fourth level. Yeah, let's try that. Nice That's roll. not bad. Okay. That's a really good roll. Uh, Doesn't so get plus better. thirty-three points. Okay. And another constitution saving throw. And another wisdom throw. Okay. I would like to bend luck the wisdom save. Oh, 21. Did 29 points much? of radiant damage. How much? 29. 29, okay. Well, By the end of it all. You see Trager completely enveloped in blinding, burning light. You stand there, stripped naked of everything. You see nothing, hear nothing. You feel just the burning, purifying light of the sun upon you. And then it passes. And there you stand. With your... I don't know. Did you have your armor on? Probably. Alright, with your scorching hot armor. As ashes of your undergarments. Kind of like... Filter from under it. Body... Smooth like a baby's butt. Oh no, my hair. Thrumming the power of the sun. Congratulations! You have not been turned to ash. Your spear is now considered an artifact. Which means that it is virtually indestructible and doesn't give a fuck about anti magic fields. In addition to that, it obtains certain interesting properties. You will be able to find on the item card. Oh dear. As soon as I add them. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? I take off the helmet, like to see. Do I look okay? No, I you mean, look bald. I'm bald? Oh. Do I have a beard? No. No, I look like Arliss when he was burned. I was about to say, I think uh, I've got to be having a lot of fun. You know, mine grew back in a day. Do you think yours will grow back in a day? Oh. We can make it. No, don't take the fun out of this. No, Malara. No, no, no. But I think I did it. I feel hurt. It didn't topple over. Don't know about anything else. Thank you, Chino and Damien. How much damage did I get? Did I suffer? I don't know. How could I create it? Because I healed up. Yeah, I'll Probably at least 20 points of damage. 
At least. At least two points of damage, yes. So effecti effectively, I had 279 hit points with all the healing. And I survived with... Uh, I survived with 39 left. So I took 240 damage. That's a lot. Nah. Did you post it or? Is uh, it not yet. I am adding some things. Thanks for believing in me, hun. Never had a doubt, and she gives him a kiss on the. It's smooth, as it will never ever be again. <laughs> No, it's it's a good look for you, hun. It really is. I don't know. It makes me feel like I'm 18 again. Well, then you would be the most radiant 18 year old. There you go. You know, if, you know, if it's a good look on him, maybe he doesn't need his hair back. Maybe he can stay like this for a couple of months. You know. There I go the hair lifts. It's... All better trigger the hairless than trigger the burn to death one. Oh yeah. Well, the burn to death lasts full. full. Yeah. So, uh, that's done. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, motherfucker. Thanks. Uh, also, thanks, Damien. Uh, well, I'm not going in there. I am no way surviving that. Yeah, that does look a bit tough. Like 240 damage tough. And I do have a couple of tricks up my sleeve, but... Uh, maybe when I get my flashback. If I get my flashback? So how are you feeling, Trigo? Very hurt currently. It kind of hurts to fold my skin. If I do this, it hurts in the other side of the elbow. She in the I comments. Feel like I did something. Hell, that was the greatest tan of a lifetime. Am I tanner, by the way? Uh, no, you're red. Uh, I'm red. Okay. Ignore that. It <laughs> might become a tan later, <laughs> or maybe you've got cancer. Does it hurt when you touch your skin now? Is that like a permanent state it, that you now have to endure as downside of being the bearer of light? I don't know. In a few days, Trek is gonna start looking like a ghoul from Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I feel strangely French. <laughs> I don't I think, think that I is what you feel like, no. Oh. <laughs> so we're going down and waiting for our dear Ara Cochran friend. Yes, also I would like to cast uh what's How the about name you rest? Called? Oh, yeah, that that's better. <laughs> I'm gonna cast cure wounds on level one on him. <laughs> Don't waste it. Yeah. No, no, just, 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 uh, here, there you go. It's not that bad. How much? Thir 13, nice. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Oh, she whispers in his ear, we'll try to get your hair back tomorrow. I don't have do the that? spell for it. Well, I managed to grow my hair back. Your hair was... <laughs> you were bald once? Not bald, it was short. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh no no that's not gonna work like all the hair follicles are dead oh okay no he's gonna like <laughs> he's ha gonna have no hair anywhere ever again like not on the head not on the arms not on the chest the balls look at never look at this decadent group of adventurers uses level seven spells for cosmetic reasons i hope it grows <laughs> back like this <laughs> 
Yep. I mean, I'm still gonna try it. Uh, <laughs> that smile at the end. Yep. <laughs> well. Uh, should we go to the plane of air then after that? Uh, can I roll like Discord somewhere and not see a horrifying gif? <laughs> no. no. There's actually an option, I think, to in, uh, import gifts also into roll 20. But yeah, at least we're keeping it in Discord. Alright, now I can look at it again. Uh, Alright, so after that, I assume you descend down. Um, would you like to help track descent, or do we want to roll whether he sleeps and breaks his neck? No, you may sit on my back. You have earned it. Okay. Wait, uh, <laughs> put on your armor. <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely. I don't want to feel naked. your balls on my neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you had armor on, it's just that all of your like padding under armor is burnt. So now the armor is on your bare skin, which is very uncomfortable and very chafing. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. better go buy new ones whenever like you can, that. otherwise, you're gonna get uh, chafing. Shoulder shores. Yeah. Sores. Um, it's okay. Laura will just regenerate them more. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sure. Like instead of hair growing here, it's like grows everywhere the armor rests. <laughs> um, oh. In any case, uh, I assume from today it's going to become the uh, great adventure in search of an artifact, the belt of the Warren kind, for Trager to reach on his beard again. <laughs> um, anyway, I assume you, well, I. Expect you all uh, descend down uh, to the temple level, uh, where Trager, you are welcome to address your wounds. Yes, can I take a short rest? Yes, and like get your backup clothes to have at least something under your armor. Mm -hmm. I want to inform Pidrick and okay. let him know. Uh, he didn't burn to death. He looks like a tomato now, but he's good. Ah, I have missed the fun part. Did ah, he scream like a little bitch? No, nothing. Just, just... I, I think there was a couple of squeezing noises from the padding of his armor that fizzled away, but beyond that was just him standing there. Honestly, it was quite boring. Make I a thought it check. would... <laughs> uh, 12. 12. Mm. But... Yeah. He is completely hairless now. You gotta see that. Mm. I shall stare at him judgingly once again. <laughs> Do that. Scales are superior hair. Oh, I bet they are. But... I guess Melora will kill the fun tomorrow and let it grow back or something. I don't know. Hmm. Well, yeah. So we're just now waiting so, so he can get his breath back and then we'll leave. Understood. Please warn me when you intend to leave. Yeah. Would have. No. Um. You try to get your rest. Um. You get another wonderful, tasteless meal with the monks. Um. Uh, actually, no. This day, the meal is um. Not a communal meal. It's like they go get into the line. And they pass by, Arlis. Three people quickly eat. Three other people pass by Arliss. They quickly eat. Mm -hmm. Three more people yeah, pass by Arliss. Well, so. And they have. I allow them to wish what they want their food to taste like, and I try to imitate uh, that. Half of them have no idea what to say because they don't remember how good food yeah, tastes like. Yeah, for like. them, I just. 
but they have like they have brought out like a sand timer because everybody wants to like, like suffer it for longer, but only Giving five minutes per person. Like meat and potatoes or something like that. Just eat start eating in shifts, people like Um Anyway, uh anything else you wanna do while you wait for the bird people? They're called Arakakra, I hear. Sure, I cannot pronounce that. Um, Arakakra? Arakakra. Okay, so you do say that. Arakakra. Arakakra. Yeah, I don't yes. know. I don't know. Arakakra. Okay. Arakakra. Um, well, in that case, you wait until you hear the fluttering of large wings. Assuming it's the same Arakokra that has spoken to you before, uh, finds its way into the temple. Most for you, Leos, to see, as you are in your kin form forced to, well, unless you want to be a cloud of gas, spend your time either outside or in the main hall. Yeah, that's okay. But it looks at you, nods acknowledgingly, and asks you whether your group is ready to fly. More or less, just um, a quick goodbye is what I'm going to tell him. And I'll like turn around to the group. You aren't coming with Damien, right? You weren't. Oh coming. no, I have already prepared a spell for turn back home. Um, You're gonna be fine getting back home? Oh yeah, it's just Don't like. Worry. I'm there. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I work yeah, only for one is... destination, but. Hey, uh, yes. could you find out what what's what's happening with the Raven Queen while we are gone? Um, I had thought you had you knew what's going on. No, no, no like a well, war. Well, well, we, I kind of think that Said Nevek has taken over her domain. Or is in the process, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, well, I mean, I will be next to my sister, so I assume I will hear certain things. Uh, but to be fair, I do not wish to... put my nose too deeply into their things. They are very serious people. Not like me. Um, hmm. So, I try to stand out of their way. You're pretty serious. Really? Yes. Seriously funny. Dan <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh. just laughed at it because he was in character, but inside he was all like you. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was and painful. for major detrimental properties to the spear of Sun Warrior, <laughs> now Tragus smells smells of rotten eggs. <laughs> that is one of the properties of an artifact kind of thing. Well, sulfur burns, yeah, I mean. Oh, uh, well. Um, what other things do you want to say? Or prepare? Or do? In that case, I'm just gonna... I think Mistral is here too, somewhere around. Oh, yeah, 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 she's watching at you, holding the shell of his turtle, turtle friend. Hands. I'm gonna tell him that that's... Uh, I'm not sure we are gonna be coming back after this. Maybe we are, but maybe we aren't. So in case this is goodbye, I wish you a good time. Do we want to give and them the Chernobog? Do you... What is Chernobog? It's like a... It's like this weird... The coffee thing? Brew, yeah. It's a thing that you brew. It's... it's oh, drug. the liquid drug. Yeah. It's it kind of makes you, you feel drugs. like faster, I guess, or more focused. That yeah, it's okay, sounds... they're legal. They're totally legal. That sounds like something we could benefit from. Yes, focus during meditation. Yeah, exactly. So, how much of those drugs did you have, you were saying? 
120 uh, we have a couple of 20 pounds. Let's go. 60 kilo of fucking coffee. <laughs> have fun. Out of, out of character, and because I just don't drink coffee or meditate, but did any of you ever try to do that? And does it work? What? <laughs> Drinking coffee and then meditating. Uh, no. I don't do. I don't drink coffee, but when I drink uh, something with caffeine like cola. Then it's much harder to focus. It's harder, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Because for me, it's no just, like it goes wilder. For me, normally coffee doesn't do anything. Yeah, I just drink it because same. I like the taste in the morning, and I only drink it when I'm at the office. So yeah. I haven't uh, had coffee for two. Yeah, months that's now. like Shani. She only drinks it when she's at the office. I mean, to be fair, the coffee I drink is like 50-50 milk, because <laughs> <laughs> I like how it tastes like that. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, oh, that is very generous. If you ever do come by and bring more things, we share yeah, eternal like, wisdom for you. Yes, thanks. Yeah, like well, like some salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. That would yeah. Be... Next time we'll come, we'll bring spices. <laughs> A tear comes down his cheek. <laughs> Today, our temple has been granted by the greatest treasure we could ever hope for. Friends. 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 Goodbye, majestic Goodbye. horse creature. <laughs> Go and Goodbye. spread your wisdom in other worlds. Goodbye, majestic human man. It was a very, very big pleasure to meet you all, and uh, once we're back and our schedule clears up from all the world saving, maybe I'll job, uh, come back and drop some coffee for you. Uh, some proper food. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. If we survive, you know. And the world is not destroyed. We have been yeah, exactly. seeing some terrifying portents. Oh, excellent. Ah, not the first time. Yeah. Hopefully it will, it will be the last one, at least in my lifetime. <laughs> Don't rely on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, just wishful thinking. Now, go on, go on. All right, yeah. See ya. All right, and you back stuff, and David goes. Well, see you later. Um, speaks the word and poofs out. What? He can do that? Yep. Oh, uh, question for for the DM as uh, Kieran, I cannot prepare spells, right? Nope. Okay. Fuck you. But I would be aware of that spell because yes. it would. Oh yeah, that's a thing that clerics can do. It's really cool. Oh, he's a cleric. Okay, I thought he was a paladin. Ah, uh, no. No. <laughs> now that I'm a curian, I really know how things work, you know. And no, he's not. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I will get on this carpet. <laughs> can I? Can I? Bring you're not a curian. You're a smuggling. <laughs> yes, it's very true. I mean, I speak all, all the languages, so it's deserved, you know. <laughs> I speak all the languages, I can travel at 120 feet. I am now of huge size, and so is my... Anyway... My... My ego. Kieran <laughs> Jr. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's called wor Word of Recall, I think, what he used. And he can teleport back to his temple with that. It's really nice. Huh. Yeah. If we uh, were religious people, we could have that as well. But we you don't. You said that in Trego's face. I mean, you're all religious people, you just don't. We are. Oh, yeah. True. Take it too we're seriously. Not we're not the right kind of religious. <laughs> not chosen by the gods. Oh. Well, most of us. Uh, I mean, the Some Raven Queen allowed us to come back, so kind of we're chosen. Just all. a bit. Mm -hmm. Chosen with great weapons. 
to oh let, let, let's say tolerated <laughs> tolerated that's a good word yeah that's a good word let's get moving um what is your flight accommodation i either hop I... on on dios or on the carpet I don't care who oh. comes on the carpet with me. I just know that I'm flying the carpet. Well, and the other four. I mean, the carpet to... can carry like four people. I think. No, two. Really? It's what, it can, it's what you three? said is way back when. I think maybe three. If it's just three, someone description. But then it slows down. Yeah, it is in description. Um. Well, three medium. medium. Okay, three okay. medium. Well, sit on my back. Okay, so yeah, I climb on Leos. No, right, well, if people sit on carpet and on Leos, then there's more than enough space for um, yeah. four people, basically, to, you know. Yeah, also, I get Pedrick on my back. Alright. Alright, I'll take the carpet. Nice. Um, then, Ara Kokra gives you a nod, spreads her wings, and take off. The lifting flying high up in the air. Yes. Well, follow. They do stop occasionally for the carpet is not as quick as they are. I think. What's the speed of the carpet? Only 40. 40, yeah. They're somewhat faster, about 50%. No, actually, no, they're not, not, not much faster. But they do, like, slow down a little bit. Accommodating? Mm. I slow down a lot to accommodate the carpet. Yeah, the current elevator. Are you playing them the elevator music as they go up? It's just like tower in place, like. Telepathically. If anybody wants to jump off his back and die, please warn me. Um, but um, after another like five minutes of uh, slow ascent, you get up the final uh, 500 meters up to the peak uh, where you see a um, split in the uh, mountain peak. And you can hear the roaring wind that passes through the split. Uh, the Arakokra that you spoke to previously, the leader of these uh, folks, uh, hovers next to you, uh, Leos, and speaks to you. That is the entrance to the elemental plane. You must follow the wind and enter the ravine. Well, not ravine, the... How would it be called? Cre Windle. Cre crevice? Yeah. Well, just enter the wind tunnel. Let's call it that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, do they lead the way? Yes, they will lead the way, and they warn you that once you through, close your eyes, give it a moment, and figure out where down is. Okay. Close close your eyes. Wait, give it a moment. Figure out where down is. Okay. All right, I'll start sticking to the carpet. And just in case. Yeah, tight. hold on tight. And looking at the creatures on your back, and tell your friends to hold on tight. Yeah, I tell them telepathically. This is gonna get weird. Hold tight. Right. Who goes first? I'm going to cast Fly on myself and Sardos preemptively. Good idea. Before we go through and hold on to the carpet very tightly. All right. I don't want to lose my dear. Um, and that leaves Pijerik and Melora and Pega on this back. I think, unless Melora, you want to fly on your own as a bird. Yeah, I would have shape shift. Alright, you're a bird. Mm -hmm. uh, but who goes first, uh, Kirin or the carpet? 
the carpet. Let's go yes. get You see the Arakokra flying and the wind kind of like absorbs them. They disappear from sight. And then you follow along. I need Arliss and Zardos to make an athletics check. They hold oh, on to the carpet as they are battered and thrown around by the terrifying winds as they transfer from the prime material plane to the elemental plane of air. Does it matter if I'm sticking to it? Well, look, uh, this is how much we love yes. this carpet. This is how much. With a minus two, I rolled this. It's because the carpet is life. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yes. You're following? Mm -hmm. I would like Pickle and Pitcherick to make an aesthetics check. Oh, yeah. Now we're all good. All right. Yeah. So, as the howling of the winds passes. You all find yourselves in an endless expanse. There's no direction. For a brief moment, you find panic set in as you try to figure out where to go and if you're falling. Julius find a pair of very strong hands almost struggling. The carpet is currently carrying only one person. Oh no. Uh, am I on the carpet? Zardos, make me dexterity the saving throw. So I can't stick with carpet. Those. You find yourself torn away from the carpet, along with a little bit of the carpet, but torn away nonetheless. Your body, not very aerodynamical and not built for high-speed air chases, is flung here and there, before you're thrust into the emptiness and start falling. P.S. Fly on him. I know, please don't interrupt. You catch yourself and reorient. You're alone. That's where we're gonna end the session. Oh. Good game.